<laughs> Hello, travelers. Welcome to the Story Sword. Hope you're all doing well in quarantine. As you can see, we've had a bit of changes done to the Twitch channel. Content's still the same, but you know, I might see some fancy things here and there. Um, so let me know whether you like that or not. Uh, and without further ado, let's dive into our recap. So let me set the mood here. My beautiful music. There we go. All right. So, once upon a time, our group of adventurers entered a tower called Feathergale Spire, where they found themselves in the company of the Feathergale Society, an order of knights who spent their days patrolling the skies on their aerial mounts. You investigated them, expecting to find something nefarious about their deeds, but you were treated with respect and hospitality throughout the entirety of your stay even being invited to join their hunt for a fearsome manticore, which you made short work of. After discussing your findings with Thurl Moroska, Lord Commander of the Fetigil Society, you learned about a monastery hidden in the crags of the Sumber Hills. The next day, you set out for this supposed hideout of the monks you've been hearing about, and in the evening light, you now stand at the entrance to this monastery. So, let me bring the game stream up on Twitch. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I thought that we do see, like, doors or something. Uh, what, what you see is um, about... Uh, once again, now that we're on stream. What you see is um, about 60 or so feet away from you, uh, a set of stairs leading up to double doors of this building. Oh, yeah, that. Like, I kind of assumed that we would maybe try to, like, sneak through that door? Or, like, sneak around, see if there's any other entrance, and if not, sneak through the door? Mm -hmm. Does it seem like that's, like, an option? Yeah, yeah it seems like an option. I was just gonna go up You and tell knock. me. <laughs> like, if you want to knock, feel free to just stop both of Mm -hmm. I like, don't want to go like, knock. That's been that, going well. That, I mean, no, like seriously, like if 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 you think that like let's go knock, like suggest it, and she will stop in in her tracks. At I least go up to the door and knock. <laughs> All right, maybe you should the... maybe you should be the one to do it by your luck what? with her compression sometimes. Actually, I'm sure that's racist, Willem. <laughs> no. Pretty sure it is insulting to say. <laughs> no, it's not nothing to do with race. It's just sometimes just a good judge of character. Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, you can try if they can find you in the first place, but you know, why are you going up? Now that's racist. <laughs> I would just start shoving Wilton through the door. <laughs> oh, okay. Big Rattlehead picked me up like a baby, so I can. <laughs> I can knock on the door. Put you in like normal <laughs> human size. Right? I mean, you you can still knock on the door. You can just walk up there and knock on the door. It's just you know, it the, the knock will be a little open. lower maybe on the door. But other than that, yeah, no, I want it to be high up. It. <laughs> you like, want it to be giant. high up? Okay, yeah, that's a different story. <laughs> we can we can eat him to the to the door. Uh, yeah, let's let's not. Eat anyone? Mm, <laughs> you have not? to toss me. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a yes. Uh, yeah, I knock on. I need. knock on the door. Okay, you knock on the door. You wait a little bit. About a minute passes. A little longer. No response. You do at well, this point uh, hear some footsteps approaching from around um, the building. So there is a way like around to the sides of the building? Uh, yeah, uh, there is um, a footpath which seems to lead uh, all the way around, um, for, as far as you can see at least. Um, so from the entrance there is a path that leads um, past the door. So. 
Um, you can either go east and follow the path, or west and follow the path. The footsteps are coming from which direction? Uh, the footsteps currently are coming from the east. Or no, uh, the west, sorry. I will just, uh, can I yell out, uh, Oi! <laughs> on that? Uh, I would like to 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 make a couple steps in the other direction and kind of uh, how how many steps or how, what distance do I have to take to be able to like peek around the corner on the other side than the footsteps were on the other side you mean yeah like if if we can go to the west or east like to and from the mm -hmm. west there was footsteps how many steps do I need to take to the east to peek around the corner on the east? Okay, um, that would be from where you're standing now, if you're indeed standing at the door. It will be about 80 feet to get there. I would like to, like, um, a bit silently start walking in that direction. Mm hmm And... The foot's... Sorry. And, and like kind of peek around that corner to make sure that like while we hear someone on the other side there is not like another five people waiting on the like you know waiting mm -hmm, unwill mm -hmm. until we turn our back to them or something yeah i get you uh can you make a perception check while you're standing there yeah well, while she rolls um mm -hmm. Is, are the footsteps approaching us quickly? Does it sound like it's more than one person? It it does seem uh, it does not seem like uh, more than one person. Although the pace seems to have quickened a little since um, Bayou shouted out, "Oi!" <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, and with that twenty two, um, you do not see anything directly. Actually, I should probably put you on the map by now. That'd be very handy. Yeah. Boom. All right. Spread you out a little bit. Oh wait, because it's like actually dark right now. Um, so you wouldn't actually see that much unless you uh, cast some kind of spell. Which uh, map are we on? Uh, I will show you. Oh, okay. And here we go. Switching maps. Let's see. Should be able to see now? If it's done loading? It's loading. All right. No, it's still loading for me. <laughs> Let me zoom in for Twitch. Ooh, this is so funny because when I select myself, I see almost nothing. If I don't select myself, I see the rest. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I have yeah. In, I have individual views switched on, but it appears to not be working. But anyway, it doesn't matter that much. Um, but yeah, you you cannot see or hear anything in that direction. Okay, then I would like to kind of if I can. Mm -hmm. Easy enough. The footsteps were coming towards us, yes? Uh, yeah, and by now I would say that they uh, have uh, just have about arrived. reached you. Hmm? They have arrived. Yeah, uh, you see uh, a kind of dwarven looking gentleman, but with like grayish purple skin. And he's oh, he's now yelling at you in a language. Um, uh, do any of you speak either dwarfish or undercommon? I speak. Uh, I undercommon. I think. Oh, interesting. I don't. <laughs> Go into Twitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so he is speaking in dwarfish because you know if you see random people standing on your doorstep who. Random commoners who would start speaking in undercommon. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, no. So he yells out to you in Dwarfish, What are you doing here? Uh, visiting? <laughs> <It's your problem. laughs> I want to ask, I don't know what it's called, but I have a thing that makes me understand languages. 
Uh, that would be. Uh, yeah, you you chose that last level up, didn't you? Comprehend uh, invocation. Uh, you can cast comprehend languages like at will, can't you? No, that's the first level thing I think because I I'll have to check it actually because I got some. Oh, I um, I believe you can read and read all writing, so it hasn't anything to do with speech. Yeah, but I have a spell that lets me hear all languages. Comprehend oh, language, uh, okay. Warm. Yeah, I'm sorry. About that. Because why wouldn't you? <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> I tell him just visiting. Uh, common? Speak common, perhaps? No, I don't speak common. Where do you think I'm come from? Uh, the side of this building. <laughs> <laughs> You're a smart one, aren't you? I am. Thank you. My name's Wilden. Well, if you're, vis if you're visiting, you best come back in the morning. There's no one here. Everyone's asleep. No, they are here. They just sleep with someone else. Somewhere else. Go on then. Off with you. Oh, wait. I don't speak it. I only hear it. Sorry. He, I turn to the group and say, he wants us to leave. He says everybody's asleep right now. To yeah, come back in he's, the he's just coming closing and, uh, closer and... Um, Shoeing with uh, weapons. Yeah, he has uh, what seems to be uh, like like a pickaxe, but it seems to be more suited for battle. Uh, and he's just kind of waving it at you and going, "Go on, shoe." Rude, isn't it? Hippity hoppity, get off my property! <laughs> I tell I tell him in comment. I was like, I don't, I, I don't think we should leave. What do you What do you all think? Do you want to leave? Um, I mean, it wouldn't hurt to come back later. Just come back in the morning. Yeah, exactly. It'll be fine. The monks can help you then. Another place we can mm. stay here to play. That would be a lot more safe. Right, I can't speak. Hi, you can stay outside. <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry, well, I can't speak the language. I can only hear it, so I wouldn't be able to say Is it? We traveled a long way. Is it possible to rest here on these steps? Hmm... Make a persuasion check. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the next thing you're probably going to break into here. You can rest against the rocks. Okay. Go on, uh, any, okay. Kind of, any kind of shoes you back into uh, the, the canyon from whence you came. Cheers. Not very friendly. Very welcome. Very, very uh, welcome, welcome. Hey, um, good. So we just wait then until the morning. I want to go. Uh, go back. You can do that. I see the rest. Like, what there. do you, what do you think? <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know. I, I, I. I was half inclined to just beat him over the head, but... Um, we, we don't have to beat everyone we meet. Right. That's why I didn't. He kind of resumes his uh, patrol around the building. Do we know what he is since he's like a dwarf with a um, like darker skin? Stuff like that? Is that like common knowledge? Uh, you can make a either a nature or a history check if you want. Advantage because I do know on the common apparently that's something we have. Bio doesn't know that I get that, but what, what does, it give me does it give you advantage? No, it doesn't. Pop out my my thingy. Can I make a history check as well? Ah, uh, yes, you can. Doesn't have anything okay. to do with magic items, so you don't get your fat ass bonus. But uh... <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I'm salty. Is that history or nature? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. I mean, I, I, I would like to also give it a shot. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, sure. Just in case. Oh my <laughs> lord, what are these rolls? We're doing great. What are those? All these fancy new mods mess with our rolls, guys. Oh, We're yeah, that's it. Blame it on my character sheets. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you just trying to sabotage us. Mm. Well, at least we got it out of the way now. It's a dwarf, all right. Mm. Yeah, it's, it seems to be some kind of dwarf. 
I look to the rest of the rest of the group and say, uh, look, that dwarf looked kind of sick, didn't he? That thing is very well. I haven't seen uh, something like that before. Last time I turned purple, I was sick. Monks must not be treating him very well to get that skin color. It was just a little right? off. Hmm. Don't mind the spooky noises. Well, at least we do know that there probably is another way in besides the front door if he's patrolling around. We could always sneak in while everybody's sleeping now. If you haven't been following, uh, be like, curious. if you haven't been following the stream uh, background, this is what it looks like. Just so you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Well, I mean, we could always just like wait and see how friendly the monks look when they go back to their bed. I mean, if you would want to, I could also try to get in as a spider or a mouse or something. That and actually quick, and have a cool, quick look around. I like around. that idea. I like that idea, Valkyrie. All right. I wish I could fly like that, but I can't. Uh, <laughs> you can't okay, swim can now, I... can't you? Uh, yes, I can swim now. I do have a, a nice reef shark in my stack. Uh, it's a shame. Om nom nom. Yes, we are in a desert, so, you know, um, not that much of a use. Uh, question. Mm -hmm. What sort of, can I make some sort of a check or something to determine what types of animals would be least suspicious in, like, this area? Um, like some, you know, like lizards or like snakes. That spiders. would that would definitely be a nature check. Okay, well, let's hope this one is. Come on, better. druid, you can do it. <laughs> all right, all right. I mean, I, I have plus zero to nature, so you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. still better than average. Uh, yeah, you reckon probably some kind of lizard or maybe in some cases some field mice, something like that. Insects, any kind of insects, are, of course, aren't uncommon. Okay, let's see what I can do. Awesome. Something nice and sticky. Just while uh, I load all of my um, all of my random tokens that I have. <laughs> Something that would not die immediately if someone steps on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, um, uh, you can see looking about like the front face of the building, um, there are some narrow, uh, some very narrow uh, windows. There, they they don't have any glass in them, uh, but you know they're they're like um, maybe ten inches across in width. So, you know, a mouse could probably fit in there, but you know human would have a very hard time yeah 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 okay okay hmm can now it is can't climb i would like something that can climb <laughs> monkey <laughs> <laughs> Monkey. Not very indigenous to the region. I should have picked the pseudo dragon. I knew it. <laughs> Pact of the chain. I will go with a lizard. A lizard, yes, not the giant I, one, I, just the no, normal. Not a giant lizard, just a tiny lizard. A tiny, tiny lizard. Oh, yeah. Mm. Okay. 
let's choose something that fits a little bit in the desert. There you go. What's the size? What's your size? Tiny. Tiny. All right. Tiny. <laughs> You're tiny now. Yes, I'm tiny. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Where would you like to go? There's open windows yeah, everywhere. So okay. Um. Hmm. Actually, first, I would like to, based on the picture that I have mm -hmm. seen there, I yeah. would like to climb onto the roof. Okay. And kind of circle around mm -hmm. the whole building. Okay. To see, like, if there is any other, anyone else patrolling or, like, any any doors that I would see like entrances and so on but I want to I don't want to do that on the ground I want to do that like on the edge of the of yeah. the thing does your lizard have dark vision yes 30 uh -huh. feet okay 30 uh -huh. feet 30 feet you said yes uh he's got it away I just got have... on the oh yeah I do <laughs> have 30 feet dark vision uh, there you the, go the touch her, she gets you can just drag yourself around the building if you want. Please don't put it okay. inside. Um, um, and can you make me a perception check as well, please? Yes. Okay. There you go. Um, so uh, it's it's not too hard to figure out that um, there is currently two of these dwarven-like um, people patrolling the outskirts of this monastery. I almost accidentally <laughs> went in. I can get you out, don't worry. Sides or are they patrolling together? Uh, I'm sorry? They are on opposite sides. Okay. Jesus, this is huge. Yeah. <laughs> and you're back around. <laughs> Indeed I am. <clears throat> okay. Hey, look, a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> Kill it. It's on, it's on, it actually, it's on the, it's on the um, roof, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's just, there's like a lizard just speaking around. Um, I'm assuming uh, I'm assuming the rest is kind of like in that canyon right now. Yeah. yeah. Just tinkering on my tinker stuff. Okay. Hello. Can you hear us? Hello. Hello. Ooh. That's very blazing. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, that's better. That's better. Yeah. Hi. Wait, wait, hold on. Um, I got an idea. Let me. Maybe. You have like a personal mixer. No, uh, some person, some personal cable. Ah. Like, I want, I want cable. Uh -huh. in that. So it's authorizing. So it should be more consistent. Dope. In the meantime, I am logging into the server and logging into Phalanx. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whose vision and speech and hearing sensors have just come online? You need to stop when you stuck in Sentry mode, dude. Come on. <laughs> um, it still says campaign loading, so give me yeah, a minute. take your time. Uh, so what are the rest of you doing? We're waiting. I just whispered to to Will and like, shouldn't we have like discussed a way to tell if she's hurt or something? This seems very um. <laughs> I, I, I have I have a question. How far are they from me? Um, the party. Yes. Um, so it, it, if you would take into account where you're standing now, they would probably be like sixty feet from. Wonderful. So, right where I'm standing now, or well, they're on the roof. Uh, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I would like to. Damn it. Uh, do does any of them have any source of light? I don't know. Do you guys? Uh, Just the coins that I, that I dispersed. 
I could so use you, it, but my, nobody... my point is, you're all just standing there in dark. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be very handy for those who don't have dark vision. Exactly. Do I actually never checked the game. Which is actually kind of terrible. Oh, I well, think you have no. Are we right now? Uh, right. Uh, or let me you, just. Uh, draw me in? Yeah, I force, I'll force you to the map. I do have dark vision, so it's not. The dark isn't bothering me at all, but. Uh, to answer dark your question, never bothered me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no idea head. how. I have no idea how to communicate with her. If she's in trouble, uh, I guess we'll hear all hell breaking loose. Yeah, squeaking? <laughs> Were oh, you like Elizabeth squeaking, or...? I guess. I'm sure it'll be fine. The, the moment any of them, in any way, is visible with light, so I can see them, because I see only mm -hmm. 30 feet <laughs> within dark. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the moment any of them would, like, either make some light or something, I would like to uh, speak telepathically to them. <laughs> Like mind link to, ideally, oh, right. ideally to to Weldon. Mm -hmm. All right, I loaded in. I see everything. Good, 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 good. So is anyone creating light? Uh, I'm casting I'm... my light cantrip. Okay. On what? Your shield? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. You dropped out for a second for me. Oh. Uh, what are you, What are you? Casting light on. I'm lighting up my shield. Nice. Praise and the moment you do, <laughs> Wildon, you can hear in your head. Hi, this is Valkia. <laughs> I don't know how many people speak in your head to you, so I have been around the whole whole um, monastery so far. It's pretty big. There are two people patrolling it, and I have seen like two other entrances apart from the main one uh there's three actually uh, maybe you haven't oh, seen the door uh but there is there's like two sets of stairs that lead to doors and one yeah, yeah. um you've probably seen those and there's also one uh door uh if you expand the map to full view it is over here can you see can see yes all right uh as a bonus action i can give you ability to respond so all right i'll, I'll tell the group are, are we planning on entering i will go around again and peek at least through the windows maybe have a little look around um yeah. and bait and i will then uh come back out uh, by now i should probably have a pretty solid idea of how long it takes to me takes me to like go around the whole thing right yeah, I would say about um, about ten minutes in your uh, lizard form. Okay, so I will say that like, like if if I don't uh, like if I if I don't communicate again in twenty minutes, probably something like I'm probably stuck somewhere or something happened. Stomped on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I re no. I relay the information to the party. She's talking in my head, um, so <laughs> apparently we'll be able to tell. She she says she'll call me back in twenty minutes. <laughs> call you back. <laughs> <laughs> I have to call you back, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. She's gonna try and. So, uh, how long have you been hearing voices? Well, please do tell me. <laughs> it is becoming um, very interesting. Right? How long have you been talking in the water? <laughs> Touche. It's not the point. <laughs> Everyone just talks to something, apparently. It's only the second time this ever happened to me. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I talk to the animals. <laughs> Bayou talks to water. Wilton <laughs> talks to his head. Yeah, it's all in very general. Yeah. Thanks to also the plan there, it's all fine. All perfectly well um, adjusted. So you're you're checking out the windows then? Kind of go like and like kind of you know press through the holes and like peek around and then go out for all the holes. All um, of them. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Let me oh, like, boy. I mean I mean I always want to first peek in, see what was there, based on that decide whether I'm going. And I would like to start uh -huh. with like the ones that are like near the entrance. That does meet this main one. It's weird. Oh, there we go. So like if there is like multiple oh, okay. holes into the same 
room, then like I'm not taking all the halls, but if it is different places, then let me let me grab your token and check something really quick. Uh, okay. Okay, that doesn't seem to work. Um, hmm. Oh, I see. This should work. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me just remove the vision blocking for all of the windows. <laughs> you could just move around uh, while I do that. So if you just um, uh, click your token right now, you should be able to see through the window. And that one. You guys can still hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay, good. It was very quiet. <laughs> Is there anything that would look particularly like, like um, weird or something? Uh, you did see. Uh, can you go back to the previous window? Uh, let me check. You do see inside of here uh, two fellas that look like this. And you have seen that golden mask Ooh. before. I literally have it. Yes. In my bag. <laughs> well, um, you yeah, you had a stone you had a stone mask uh, from one of the believers, and and then did you also pick up the golden mask that you found? Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, I, I think the second so. time we went back. I think the second time we went back, we took it. Yeah, I do. All I right. do have it in the in the possessions <coughs> as well. Golden mm -hmm. mask from Mirabar delegation crimes. Yes, that's the one. So yeah, they yes. are. Um, these guys seem to be currently in kind of a sparring match of sorts, and uh, they are wearing uh, those exact masks, like the faces of scowling gargoyles. Right. I slowly back away outside again mm -hmm. and continue. Um, where is another window? Okay, I see one. Okay. No, that's not a window. I think I removed all of them now. Um, uh, you do see windows in uh, that wall. However, they seem to be boarded up, or boarded up, I should say, bricked up. They have um, oh. some just botched pieces of masonry just stuffed into the window sills so you can't uh, look through okay. them this oh, side yes. um can you halt uh, for just a second uh yes. this side of the um uh monastery seems to be in quite a state of disrepair and the walls seem to be um you know quite a bit crumbled and uh one thing that you would have actually seen crawling across the roof is this section. Let me just move you around a bit. You would have seen all of this. Um, because this is a garden. And it has... Uh, it's very very poorly kept. Um, it has some very, very lifelike um, statues in it of, you know, uh, humans and dwarves. And um, there's two that look like, you know, your standard... Um, gothic house gargoyles you know there's just like uh, perched on top of like a little plateau um, so yeah that is the garden so, uh, so when you say very lifelike mm -hmm. you mean like abnormally lifelike to point where I would not believe them to be statues or just like very good piece of art uh, if you'd like to check them out, um, you know, uh, up close, you can do that. You can make an investigation check. I mean, sure. As a lizard. Yes. Uh, I believe that uh, anything that is related to intelligence, wisdom, and so All right, that uses your mind, ability so scores. Yes, yes. There we go. Right. Nice. I literally climb on one of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, no problem. There's like, no one staring, in this garden right I'm just, now. So. I'm just staring dwarf in the eye, or human yeah. or something. Uh, so the door that you saw, uh, that I just uh, revealed to you, um, that would lead into this garden. 
Um, and yeah, there is something off about these statues. Something that tells you that they weren't exactly handmade. Okay. Ooh. The plot thickens. Yeah. Oh. Hey. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, after this lovely finding, I continue on my way, just slowly, ever so slowly, more and more mm -hmm. disturbed. There are windows there. Uh, however, you can only, or <laughs> if you want to crawl inside, that's oh. fine. They are open. Yeah, I, I would love to. Assuming you can just climb on the walls. Yeah, I can. <laughs> uh, this seems to be um, a very, very large room. Uh, you can see a large rock pillar right in front of you uh, at like, you know, six o'clock. And then an altar standing in the middle of the room. You don't see walls at the edge of your vision. So you're assuming that the room continues beyond your 30-foot dark vision. Yeah. I shall do the same with the other mm -hmm. big hole. <laughs> it seems to be the same room. Yeah. Um, but you do see on the uh, westernmost wall, if you can see that tiny, tiny little node like right over there, that seems to be a uh, lever of some kind. I think you cut for a moment because I only heard that. Okay. I see a tiny, tiny, and then nothing. Oh right. Um, you see what seems to be a lever of some kind. <laughs> to catch that. D did it lever of some sort? A lever, he said. Yeah, a lever. Oh, yeah. lever. Okay. Yeah. I never know if it is like a thing for me or for everyone or what is going on. Um, okay. Lever. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not going to pull a lever as a lizard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, can you just real quickly make um, a stealth check as you are right now uh, coming up to behind one of the guards? Oh. Somewhere here. Um... Yes. He's right over there. Ah. Okay. In your lizard form. Yes, okay, so in lizard form, what was it? Uh, stealth or something yeah, like stealth. that? Yeah, stealth. Okay, let me just check my stealth. Stealth. What is stealth? Yes. Okay. My proficiencies do not apply, right? Oh, never mind. I'm not proficient. <laughs> oh, okay. I think it's only your wisdom and your uh, um, your intelligence, isn't it, for wild shape? Yeah, I believe so. I'm tiny. Um, and the uh, dwarf kind of figure turns around and uh, just sees you there on the floor. Or on the wall, I should say. Yeah. What are you doing here? Get off! Go on! He just kind of, you know, shooing you up the wall or just away, I guess. Okay, I would like to go go up to the roof again okay sure easy enough um he just kind of stays there watching you know looking up to the roof and after a while he just continues on his path again in in which direction did he continue uh to the west so this way damn it strange damn lizard <laughs> um mm. okay i actually And peek in. Mm -hmm. Basically. 
<laughs> okay. Um, you see at the edge of your vision another one of these uh, monk type figures who's just kind of, um, you know, looking through supplies. It seemed to be crockery and stuff, you know, standard um, kitchen equipment. Okay. I get out again and again mm -hmm. through the roof. All Probably. Right. I will go through the roof to, to kind of peek uh, where the guard is. And if he is not ar ar around the window, I want I mm -hmm. again peek through the window and then yeah. scurry back up the wall. All right. Um, the guard seems to have made his way uh, around the building out of your vision. Okay. And uh, peeking into this window, yeah, you see more people working in what seems to be um, a kitchen. Okay. The hour is pretty late, however. These people seem, you know, very meticulous in their work, if maybe a little bit crazy. Who bakes bread at like 3 a.m.? Guys. And this seems to be a washroom of sorts. Mm, Bayer would like this a lot of water. <laughs> she can stare into it and stare. I don't know what she's doing actually. <laughs> she's just staring there. <laughs> mm. Uh, so yeah, there's just um, very <laughs> simply um, three large wooden tubs, and that's about it. Okay. And then I go around the corner again and would like to peek okay. this one. Um, you peek into this room, and uh, you see, first of all, another one of these monks who seems to be uh, patrolling. He currently, currently has a light up, but he is uh, looking in the other direction than uh, you're coming from. And um, yeah, you see a couple of sets of long tables with benches um, being connected to the kitchen. You probably make this out of some kind of mess hall. Okay. I, I skip the next window. Yeah, that's as, the same room. Uh, as I'm going to assume it's the same room. Mm -hmm. And I will continue to the, to this one. Um, in this window, you can just uh, see a couple of uh, the same monks currently sleeping. That's that's a lot of feeble I've seen. Mm-hmm. It was. I'm sorry, you cut out there. Uh, I, I'm trying to cu to count how many people I've seen so far. It's like around 10 to 12, right? Uh, let me look back real quickly. Uh, you saw two in uh, that room. Then four. Two, 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 two. Uh, about 11. Okay. I, I, I don't think that she started to count right away, so that's why I just go with love. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I would like to... Mm -hmm. Oh no. What's up? <laughs> I, I, peeked, I, I came and peeked into the, to the bottom one. I oh, see a person. I don't like the person. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, there, there is a window um, at the bottom, like on the south side, in the south wall. So you can move over there if you want. It's like right there. Also, Mopchul just did a, a very interesting thing. It told me that my server is not running, which I don't have, and then it kicked me out of your server. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. And now it's telling me that, that there is already a player with the name. Never oh. mind. Um, mm. uh, it, it will 
figure itself out in a bit. Uh, but I would like to peek into the rest of the um, rest of the uh, windows on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. And I, I, can, I can still peek on the you know on the street. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's just a little late, so it will be fine. Uh, just kind of. Put me in it and... Yeah, sure. Uh, in the next room, uh, you can see uh, lying on very thin kind of straw pallets are uh, a couple more of these monks currently sleeping. You can see two um, who are... Oh, no. Uh, these are actually all sleeping. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and in... So, none... The only place where I've seen the different uh, person would mm -hmm. be the, one of the... Uh, actually, both of the guards were the dwarves, or was one of the guards like a monk or something? Like the patrolling guards? Um, oh, uh, both of the guards were actually uh, those dwarf-looking guys, yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna so basically, so, so far I've seen two of the dwarven guys... Uh, and only one room with the uh, with the buff-looking dude, right? Uh, yeah. That sounds about right. Okay. Uh, and so that's all the all the windows that I can see because the other window next to the entrance is into the same like entry hall, right? Yeah, it's into the same entry hall. Okay. Um, as I get, uh, and another question, because on the picture, there mm -hmm. there was also some sort of a tower in the middle. Mm -hmm. is, it, is it actually there? or? Uh, it is actually there, but it does seem to be uh, an extension of um, what would be like the central, um, the, the room you saw the altar in. Okay. So okay. it's not so, like so, a separate room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My point is that I wouldn't think that it makes sense for me to go peek through the windows mm -hmm. in the tower. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so after that, I would like to uh, uh, right right as I finish like walking through this window, I would like to again turn around to to have a line of vision to build it mm -hmm. and uh, kind of go like. Hi, sorry to startle you. Ah. Uh, I'm on my way back. Now. Poor guy's just trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they suddenly just like, hello, it is I. Uh, and uh, like, as, as I give them like this fair warning that like, like please don't step on any lizards right now. Thank you. It might be me. Uh, <laughs> I, I I go in their direction. Mm -hmm. uh, so far. I will remain in the lizard form in case they would want to go check, want me to go check something else out. Mm -hmm. But I will just like climb on, on on Wilden's shoulder or something. All I don't right. know someone's shoulder, or just so that I'm not like sitting on the ground staring at them all. Mm -hmm. um, and I would like to uh, uh, tell that. Uh, so I've. A lot of the rooms that I have seen from the through the windows are just regular monastery type rooms, like sleeping quarters, kitchen, some room with like altar or something, um, some storage, um, mess room, and uh, there uh, and so on. Uh, I have seen quite a lot of uh, like monks there a lot um, most of them were still awake but like doing some household chores or or sparring all of them had the same golden mask as as i took from the mirabar uh crime scene from the grave that we found there um mm -hmm. i also saw um uh, and i described like the 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 guy that was like different in the in the bottom left mm -hmm. um uh together the monks i have seen around like 15 of them uh, across the whole 
building so far. And also right. what is more even more startling is that I have seen this garden with like uh how many? One, two, three, four. Like seven ish uh statues that I'm pretty sure they were not always statues. They are like way too realistic for that. And there is something up with those. So hmm. you know, maybe just let's not become statues so do you want me to go do you all want me to go back or can i just stop being a tiny lizard because like the guard almost tried to step on me and it was weird hmm. i not sure okay i uh, i think it's definitely to... a good idea to think about our um our plan here we did some recon and, you know, Falkia almost got stepped on. So, what do we want to do? What do we think is the best approach here? Do we want to sneak in? Because, and I point at my armor and everything and all the cogs and stuff. <laughs> I am not going to be sneaky. Just all guns. Maybe I probably... can try to talk my way in, being a priest and all. We they we did knock earlier nice and polite like and they shoot us away to wait till morning. So it's it's possible that we can talk our way in the morning. I just I'm wondering if everybody everybody being awake would be more dangerous. I mean, Depends even... if we attract their attention during the day, if we do something they don't like. So that well, depends. Do you want to have also consider the fact that may, there may be less people now, but if something bad would happen, they would just wake up the others, right? Probably. I mean, if they heard so, us. So. I mean, but maybe we could like lock them in, <laughs> like their rooms. That would be hilarious. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, depending on the kind of approach you want to take, I think it's best to either wait until morning and do it more dipl diplomatic approach, or just go well, in during nighttime and take a more stealthy if there approach. In, if they were in mass, they're part of the Black Earth. There's some <clears throat> sort of the, that Earth cult that we've been dealing with. So I don't think. But it's like golden masks, to... not stone masks. Right. I'm saying some sort of cult having to do with that. I mean, yes. Also, one of the entrances that I have seen is in like a part of building that seemed like more run down. Uh, yeah. Generally, uh, yeah, the, the entire east side of the building. Yeah. And also like the windows in there were like bricked up. So I couldn't see what's there. But one of the entrances that just door was leading into it. So if we would if we were to try to sneak in, that is probably either the best or the worst part where to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I personally don't want to take the risk of sneaking in, you know, because of um, disadvantage. <laughs> Unless you can uh, cast some very nice pass without trace, but oh, of, of of course, if we were to, to sneak in, I absolutely would make sure that we are. At and I would praise Le the, the hell out of the Thanner to make sure you would help us. Hell is not very priest like, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, is hell a thing in the Forgotten Realms? Yes. <laughs> very much I mean, very I would much so. Praise the sun out of the that's just praise, so praise like the that. praising the sun out of him doesn't all, also doesn't <laughs> maybe, maybe praise, praise the darkness I'll out of him. I'll just praise him yes. as I would just praise just him. praise him. Just... <laughs> yes. Bye. Right. What do you think? Uh, sneak in now. Wait till morning. Bye. 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 is awfully quiet for She's once. She's asleep. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Bayou, where's your goddamn coffee in the morning? <laughs> okay, my mic's just been not working. Well, All right, uh, we can hear oh. you now. The entire time. Great. Um, 
I want to pour some uh, water on, into the floor of the essay. <laughs> yeah, I did it. I into that. Okay. For a second. I said before, like, um, apparently it's 40 minutes, all of that. I've been saying the entire time. Um, I don't think um, we want to catch them on their bad side. I mean, we can either sneak in and make them mad anyway. I think we should just ask. I think they're crazy people. <laughs> I think that we are great people. I think they're great people. Think they're great people. <laughs> I am staring into the water as I say so this. Is I think they're great. It's fine. Let's have some it's diplomatic fine. fun this time. Exactly. Right. Yes, and I, I, I raise my hands to give Bayou a high five. I kind of like, do like a slow tap, like a meh. <laughs> kind of a high Please don't so leave me hanging. No, I did. <laughs> just give like a smallest little eh as a high five. Force empowered high five. <laughs> <laughs> so we get some rest and we and then be talk try the and morning. talk to them in the morning. Yeah. All right. Already then. For sure. Okay. Go ahead and uh, mark off a long rest if uh, that has any use. I will reset Can I your. Have a Can question? you? Yeah. So with the statues. Yeah. If. If they were like made through magic, mm -hmm. so that like it was someone living and they were something was done to them and they turned to stone, mm -hmm. would that be like paralysis or or do I think it could be like para paralysis? Uh, you can. I would also like to consult this with uh, with uh, Weldon, probably. You can consult such things with someone who's proficient in Arcana. Weldon, are you proficient in Arcana? Yes, I am. Weldon, uh, I am as well. If you Magic wanna. boy. Yeah, I'm yes. proficient in Arcana. Yeah, it's either Weldon or um, Bayou. I mean, I, I, I would absolutely love to consult with Weldon or make him the role. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just so you like, want me to what roll do you think, <laughs> um, with the uh, oh, with the description that Valkia mm. is giving you, since she's uh, seen it close, I would say that would be assisting. Okay. So, better. Yeah, that's a bit better. Uh, yeah, it fits more in the realm um, of petrification, um, the way she describes it. You would know. You would know. Um, you know what what type of creature could cause that, but you know. Yeah. So I, I some kind of effect that's been put on somebody, magical uh, petrification of some sort or natural, uh, but I don't know what would have caused it. Okay, I was just wondering if if trying to like less restoration them or something would help, but petrification seems to be a bit too much for such spell. Okay. If something did that to those people in the garden, then there, there's definitely some some dangerous folk in there. Or dangerous creature of some sort. Indeed. Um, before we do a long rest, mm -hmm. I would like to take some time and get everyone up, and Bayou will take out a crumpled, almost burned, very old piece of paper, and I would like to tell everyone, this has been the thing that I've been working on for quite a long time. It's basically a cipher, um, and times where none of us can speak, I think it would be a good time in that I could show you. Uh put my feet, uh, create a cipher, and I can teach it, which would uh, have them take, they have to succeed in an intelligence check. Hmm. Um, which they have to make an intelligence check that reaches 14 or higher. Mm -hmm. To All understand right. it. I have a picture of the code if you guys are interested, but it's not necessarily... For sure. Can put that in Discord. Um, are we going to learn this one by one? You all have to make a check. So I mean, I can yes. teach you all at the same time, but you do still have to make a check. I don't know if you can redo it. If I can is, spend more time later. But... Is it is it a check to 
uh, to teach someone the the entire system, or is it a check for a person to decipher? Uh, no, I can teach them the cipher. Um, okay. Others can't cipher code you create unless you teach them. They succeed an intelligence check of DC equal to my intelligence score and my mm -hmm. vision scores. Oh, yep. which is a twelve, by the way, not fourteen. Okay. Can teach it to them right now. Spend some time to show them that there should be none. I would say that probably takes at least an hour. That's what it looks like, by the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, yeah, she takes out this like very old-looking piece of parchment. Uh, looks burned at the standard of looks and everything. Um, it's a it's a cipher we've been using on the ship for a long time, you know, before um, you know everything happened. And I think it would be convenient in times where you know we either can't speak or you know I'm somewhere where you catch up to me, that kind of stuff. Cool. And I will just start. The <laughs> cool story, <laughs> bro. Start explaining the cipher. Um, um, is she going to teach it to us all at the same time? Yeah, I'm just going to explain to you. You could do that. realistically. I, you could do that. Yeah. 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 So I, the the least intelligent out of all three of us. Mm -hmm. uh, are you? I have an intelligence <laughs> of ten. You Same. you, me you too. could be like, oh, Latander, help me, and just guidance yourself. That was exactly my plan. <laughs> <laughs> or guide me somewhere. I suck at studying. Please help. No! <laughs> Please I help. regret this. <laughs> I regret this. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So that'd be an intelligence check. All right. Go for it, guys. I don't know if there's any rules of me trying to re-explain it. I have to, I would Late my night wait a bit, cramming but... session. Oh, yeah. Um. Okay, okay. DM? Yes? Can you give me control of my character? Oh my lord! I cannot open the sheet. Uh, what are you called in in? Wait, let me check Map your pool? connections. Are you called Phalanx or Phalanx Mark One? The the token is called Mark One, but with but me as a. Did you log player? in as Phalanx? Yes. Okay, hang on. Uh. There, it should work now. Oh. Um, well, I can click on my character, but then my screen becomes black. That's normal, it's just because your vision is uh, different oh. than what Oh, yeah, see. wait, let me, there you go. Oops. Try it now. Yeah, remember that I put light on my shield, so I should have, you know, some more. Oh, yeah, uh, do -do 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 -do. you're not actually, uh, there, though, so you're, you're a, right. a bit, a bit further back. You're not actually at the steps, but that yeah. would put you off the map, so... You know, oh, okay. you're you know just gonna, yeah, you're gonna take a long rest in a bit, so just uh, let's leave it yeah. at this. I'm rolling the intelligence check. Nice. And let me just guidance myself. Oof. Oh, That's geez, 24! <laughs> <laughs> that is a maximum roll. Damn! I'm smart, <laughs> when it comes to ciphers, I'm a smart ass motherfucker. Hell yeah, you just, I gotta mean... just look at it, take like a little photograph in your mind, and you just have yeah. it. Yeah. So, Photographic what, what memory. Was, what was the DC? DC was 12, yeah? 12, you all succeeded. Alright. <laughs> That's gonna. Barely. That's gonna be useful. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, memory that's engaged. a little cipher. Cipher. But I mean, Mem memory. Nice. This is a modified version of Big Ben, basically. Don't know what that uh, is. <laughs> yeah, it's a Big Ben is like a yeah a cipher. It's <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um. Uh. Yeah. There you go. So. And still, like, very carefully tuck the. The things about the, the other three little papers that I send are just you guys' names in Pikmin. Mm -hmm. um, guess who's who? But <laughs> she just like her carefully <laughs> folds it back up and puts it back in her bag again. And um, yeah, she just put her hand over her face and go to bed. All right. Or wait it out. Or whatever. anyone else want to do something before they go to sleep? I'm just working on my your project. project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Work in progress. I do. Uh, we'll do my standard prayer. <laughs> Only the hatch here. <laughs> <laughs> Only so I can just hear Bayou barf again. <laughs> <laughs> Only for that. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna mm -hmm. start stepping it up. Acting. I I cuddle mm -hmm. up with Nightshade. All right. <laughs> I to go nap. It nap, has nap. been exhausting to run around as a lizard. <laughs> All right. Nap, so. Nap. 
Um, you complete your rest. Um, goes by without much trouble. Mm-hmm. Um, and you wake up um, quite early in the morning because it has just started to rain. If it's raining everywhere by you, do you look at a specific puddle or do you look at all of them? I look at all of them. They're all friendly. <laughs> I might just choose one. That's very rude of you. What does it mean you uh, being racist today? <laughs> it was a uh, question. I didn't even know. No, no, I do look at all of them. All right. It's not being racist. It's yeah. just inquiring minds want to know. Well, I mean, the things that one might tell me might be different from the things that another might tell me. Oh. I didn't think about that. See? Penny Water is great to try it. <laughs> Hydration I mean, is important. Not to be rude, but they've been a lot more talkative than big. I I completely understand. I, there's no way I can get him to talk. Are you thinking of giving him like a like a speaking module? That would be awesome. I, I, I could maybe give him. I could maybe give him a button he presses and it would go hoot hoot. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I would love that. He will become yeah. like the, the equivalent of what was his name again? <laughs> the dude in the wheelchair. I um. Oh my dude. god. Oh, Stephen I Hawking. I forgot his name. <laughs> yeah, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> he never forgot his name. It's oh, not okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's okay to say, but yeah, you're kind of right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't think about that. That might be my next. Ooh, well, that's it to the rain. I will go up to the monastery and knock. Okay. Um, and then I would shove Wilt in front of me and say, "You were." Uh, sure. Hell yeah. Do you want to say the word, or do you want me as a little more holy person instead of a science yeah. person mm-hmm. to take the word? Take take it, Phalanx. Go for it. I will take the word then. <coughs> so I, w- I will walk up the stairs. Mm-hmm. I will cast light on my shield. To yeah. light up the, the the sunny part of my shield. Uh, actually, <coughs> show off. Yeah, it's it's, it's daytime off. now. So yeah. Yeah, but maybe it's a, it, it, you know it's more for for it's flavor. It's more for flavor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you can actually see the shield lighting up a little bit, so it looks kind of holy. You know? So whoever opens up that door is just going to be blinded <laughs> instantly. Oh, oh, that's that's well. It, it's you said it's not that bright, right? Yeah, yeah, it's probably. Not. <laughs> So, I knock on the door. Okay. Um, Again? So, being so early in the morning, you almost expect just no one to answer again. Um, But a while later, uh, a small panel in the front door slides open, and someone wearing a golden mask peers out. Uh, The hand opening the panel seems to be human enough, and from beneath the mask comes a female voice. Yes? What do you want? Good morning. Good, good, morning, good morning, kind lady. My name is Phalanx. I am a priest of Lathander. <laughs> These are my companions, Bayou, Wilden, and, and Fick Rattle had his, his bodyguard, and Velkia and Nightshade. So I point to everyone with my hand while I'm introducing them. We I are a bunch of travelers, first. and we were interested in seeing the monastery. Um. She kind of looks all of all of you up and down. I try to knock off my best um, robot-y smile. <laughs> as, much, as much as I can do that. Yeah. The nightshade didn't even peek out. So I'm basically when they were introducing... The, the, the kind, totally not fighting worthy priest look, you know? Okay, okay. Looking, uh, just, looking like I wouldn't hurt a fly. Let's okay. Just, just keep it at that. So she looks you up and down and goes, I'm sorry, the abbess doesn't allow visitors to disturb our meditations. In Primordial, I want to say, that's a real bummer, we've been so interested. In Primordial? (laughs) Yeah. And she kind of looks at you and, you know, makes a 
you know, makes a face that she doesn't understand you and then just looks back at Phalanx, who seems to be mostly doing the word. <laughs> well, that is a, that's a shame. I would love to talk to the abbess about, um, well, actually about, um, um, well, let's just say I'm interested in, in different beliefs as I'm doing some research. These people here may look odd, but I would assure you they, these are all very nice people. They've been keeping me company and protecting me from from evil. Well, we have some on the road. you know, if, if you're if you're looking to spread the word about different beliefs, um, we only follow one belief here, and uh, that is not welcome. So I'm sorry. Goodbye. And she closes the latch. Uh, what did she say? The the place was about. But, uh, did she mention who they were worshiping? No. No. Well, these guys definitely do not want us inside. Hmm. Hmm. But rude! Where's the people today? But, I mean, didn't didn't the dwarf in the night say that they will help us in the, during the day? Mm -hmm. He didn't specify he did they would that. let you in. <laughs> he just yes. said wait till morning. Um. Surprised you didn't mention finding some of their brethren. Maybe that would have been our shoe in. Perhaps. Error you want to try again? Four. Memory not found. Jesus fucking Christ. They don't believe that. No, you found him. Uh, <laughs> you knock please. again? Okay. I knock again. The... Okay, can you, can you pass me the mask? <laughs> pass me the mask. Okay. Do you like hold it up in front of your face? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so <laughs> so the window uh, latch opens again, and she looks kind of momentarily surprised until she looks you up and down and realizes that you're the exact same person who just knocked yes, before. I say, and before she speaks, I already interrupt. I know what you're thinking. What the hell are you doing with that mask? Yeah, um, <laughs> let's get to the point. We, we want to know that as well. <laughs> at, okay, we found this at a burial site. Well. Not an actual burial site, but remains of a place that has seen combat. And She's already we'd like annoyed. What, we'd like to know what the hell happened. Well, you tell me. Yes. Um, if you would, we could discuss our findings. If well, go know. ahead. I went well, in and I attempted well, to... You know, <laughs> it's raining and we'd really like to go inside. Oh, I so bet, she says. Is that all right? As and I'm trying to persuade her into letting us inside to talk with the abbess about this, I, I I almost wanted to say this this is above your pay grade, but let's not. Do that. <laughs> I want to speak to the manager. <laughs> I'm not a Karen. I won't do this. <laughs> In an attempt to kind of persuade her, I do want to kind of sit forward and say, um, listen, it's been a weird sight there. It's a bit difficult for me to talk about, but I. After the loss of that place, I would love to talk about this in a more comforting setting. And I will put up my most believable outlet. Lathander, <laughs> please help as I cast Guidance on myself. <laughs> okay. Um, she says... You can either tell me what happened there, and then maybe the Abbess will want to talk to you about it, but I doubt it. So go ahead. Didn't we know a, um, uh, what's it called, like a logo thing? Uh, the, the, the words, Jesus Christ. The blocker. Um, anything that was specifically we know is related to the abyss, not necessarily the back. Like, to the mask as well? Didn't we have, like, a symbol attached to that? Um, you found, uh, the person wearing the golden mask at the same burial site where you found, um... A bunch of bugbears who were wearing armor, which was stamped with the symbol of the Black Earth. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, then are I we, will. Are we going to review. I'm looking at the at the the others for, you know, permission to reveal the information we have. I will. Well, I will just nod and uh, do the same thing again, where I pull up the symbol of the Black Earth on my hand, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. like more in front of my hand, like a hologram kind of thing. All um, right. And I'll say. Um, 
we found this near the burial ground and we feel like they might either be responsible for the death or attempting to prevent it from happening, something like that. And why is that symbol on your hand? That's just a little bit of a magic trick, and I fly between my hands. And I, like, it's a little, a little bit little of magic. Wish wish. Don't, don't worry too much about it. <laughs> like fancy sparks and shit. I'll make I it like into like fancy a... sparks, not harmful. She just uses it to show you the emblem we have found. It's a it's an easiest way to show you, to be honest. Well, I'm sorry, but we don't know anything about this matter. And I dare yeah. say you don't have any place. While she is saying this, I'd like to to yeah. you, to scan her eyes as far as that possible with the mask on. And yeah. see if she's lying or telling the truth. Uh, you can make an insight check, please. Yes. So you're not concerned about death uh, surrounding this mask? Uh, do you still have forward. guidance on? Uh, I would suppose so. I have not made an, uh, uh, a check, so I still yeah. have okay, guidance Okay, so on. with guidance then. Yeah. So. Okay. And four. Okay, That's 19. 19. <clears throat> Hang on. Okay. That was some real nice elevator wedding music. <laughs> uh, thanks. <laughs> it was just me. Hi, was it? I'm just typing this to you. There are four waiting before you. We'll be with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Four monks waiting before you. Please hold. But uh, no response to what I asked her? Uh, just hang on. I'll be oh, right, yeah. Uh, sure. Take a time. <laughs> One failing is waiting before you. Sorry, what? <laughs> the audio cut out for me. No, I said one failing is waiting before you. Please hold. <laughs> I didn't hear the, the response at the end because the audio cut out for me a few seconds. Could you please repeat? There wasn't a response. There wasn't? Oh. Yeah. No, he's going to tell me after. Uh, I'm you. typing you. Uh, so you yeah. asked what exactly? I asked him, so a death like that just leaves you cold. A death with that mask involved just leaves you uh, thinking, eh, who cares? Well, many of us go on dangerous expeditions. It is not uncommon that they might die. At least you don't want to learn from their mistakes. Well, we don't make mistakes. Are you I sure think dying is a you mistake. Well, <laughs> really when wouldn't want to know more. When they are returned to the earth, there is no problem. I will take a few steps back mm -hmm. and look at Wilden and say, "Fireball, Do you want to try? Do you want to maybe talk some reason to the person?" I, and then I figured I was, they was might want to know where the brethren are buried. Um, so only stands to reason that you might want to know how they died, what they were doing when they died. The fact that these people do not want to know what happened to the brethren at all in our, and seem to just, you know, dismiss the, the subject as fast as possible. Just let me think that they do know stuff about this. They do not want to share it for some bad, bad reason. The um, window has closed again at this point. They, they aren't um, having any of it. I will oh, fucking will punch some. They will fucking have some. Oh, <laughs> all right. They will like None. it. <laughs> nice. Um, shall we look for another way in, folks? For sure. You said, um, okay, you said that you saw people with that mask inside, right? Wait, what? Uh, at Falk, yeah. <laughs> I've seen... Uh, okay. I've seen, uh... The... About 15 of the masked ones inside, yes. Is there any way we could get to, like, one or two separated ones? Well, I mean, I don't know where they are right now. I just know where they were last night. No, like, small sleeping quarters or anything like that? Um, the sleeping quarters were kind of big, but maybe we... I mean, the entrances that I have seen seemed to be... Uh, one was, like, close to the 
um, the place where I saw two of them sparring, so probably some like training room. And another was close to kitchen, I, I think. So I'm afraid that both of those could be used. But out of those two, I think the training one could be probably like better because it's smaller and and I assume that they probably mostly train in pairs. You can try um, that. And there is also the door that I don't know what is behind that was in the older part. So it, it might be that there is like that is less you. So maybe they would not at least expect anyone. Someone else put that like in a bit more of a private way. I don't want to barge into like a full sleeping quarter. I'm fucking pissed, but I'm not stupid. Uh, the, the the other door was relatively close to the garden with those statues. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it was in the north know, northeast. I don't. In, in that area. Uh, At this point, it's mostly up to if we want to take roots in, go through the door we don't know that goes what it goes into in the old part, or through the entrance next to the training room. I don't know. I do would be fine, I guess. I'm fine either way, just as long as we get inside and. I don't know, I don't like- I didn't like that her attitude. Like, I kick will some kick someone's ass, I am livid. Fucking done. <laughs> hmm. uh, I'd say whatever, as long as we get a move on. Mm. I'd rather take uh, the door that um, Falke has explored the most. Question. Mm -hmm. When I was in the garden. Yes. Have I seen any doors or anything that would lead towards the, the, like in the, in the direction of like here? Uh, yes, you have. Like right there where your arrow was pointing. Oh. There, this there. Door? Yeah, that's a door. And the and the door from the outside was like here, or here. It is right over there. Oh, oh, so the door is into the garden. Yes. Oh, okay. Actually, in that case, I I would like to change what I said. It's like the other door is, like the third door, it goes into the garden itself. And, and then, like, from the garden, we can get to prob like, there's several doors coming from there. Mm -hmm. From the garden, <laughs> there's a door to the south, to the east, and to the west. And I, I can probably assume that one of the, 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 this would probably lead into this hall, right? That will make sense to you, at least, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, uh, we can either go to like next to the training grounds directly into the kitchen or directly into the um, into the garden. Wouldn't training grounds be the least suspicious if we end up making a lot of noise there? I mean, yes. Let's try that. And also, Let's have I that. seen where are the doors in the training ground? Uh, they seen? are. There, and there. Oh, so it seems that there is doors directly into the training grounds, right next to the entrance on the east. So mm -hmm. probably let's try that one. Let's do it. For sure. All right, do let's we do want it. to? Do we want to be sneaky about it? I'd say so. That'd be kind of handy. I mean, and that, not necessarily quiet. the punching part, but up until there, I'd say, I'd say sneaky would be the way, though. 
Let's sneak as much as we can. All right. Until seeking is. is no longer profitable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as without trade it is. For all of us. Uh, oh, I forgot to guidance you. All right. Just... I'm sorry. <laughs> Claire? You can guidance my steel defender. You can guidance me. <laughs> I can. I, well, I wanted to guidance Valkia so she could give everyone the, you know, the... Okay. Well, uh, I, I don't know why I did it twice for the, the student defender. The pass without trace is not rolled, it's flat plus 10. Yeah, it's just a plus 10. Yeah. Oh, it's just a flat plus 10. Yeah. So um, 15 for me, 28 for my steel defender. Uh, um, does he roll with advantage? No, I just rolled twice by mistake. Oh, okay, gotcha. He doesn't have disadvantage, he has natural armor. 22 for Bayou. Where is that with the plus 10? Hmm? Oh no. There's no way to plus ten. Okay. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Alright, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, that's twenty two. Alright, gotcha. What was it for you, uh Wilden? Fifteen, yeah? Fifteen, yeah. Yeah. Fifteen, twenty two, twenty two, twenty three, twenty two. Nice. All right, so the entrance um, near the training room area, yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a logic point there. It was right there. Up the stairs. Mm. Yes, yes. Hey, okay. I, I kind of just like lead them towards it. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. The windows. Alright, so we're at the stairs. And I kind of, like, quietly point towards the the window here. That is that is the one that leads to the training room. Mm -hmm. And that I have no idea what is, like, in that direction. Mm -hmm. Can I check the door to see if it's locked? Uh, you can, and yes, it is locked. I yeah, would like to use it. my my oh. robot senses to see to first look for the keyhole and then listen for any sounds behind the door. Okay, make a perception check. Nice. No, no, no. <laughs> Alrighty. Let me just uh, Let me put you over there and see Ah, uh, that doesn't give you much vision. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Uh, hang on, let me see what I can't do. Hmm. Might have to just manually cut that out. I just want to know if my faily senses are tingling. <laughs> if your what senses are tingling? Not my spidey senses, but my faily senses. <laughs> Pretty faily. I know, bad pun. Bad <laughs> pun, I know. Um, there doesn't seem to be anyone behind the door right now. Do I hear anything? Nope. You don't see anything, you don't hear anything. Nothing. Right. Well... This could be a good door for infiltration, as seeing as there's, I believe, no one behind the door. Pick it! Pick it! I have thieves' tools. Yeah. Or you could yes. try that. Pick it! Or we can do that. <laughs> pick it or kick it. Pick so it. that would be pick it. It's a silent option. Dex plus proficiency? If you're proficient right? with thieves' tools, yeah. Yeah, proficient with all tools, my friend. Alright. <laughs> Oh, plus two, oh. fifteen. Okay. Oh, don't do, don't be so quick next time. I could pray <laughs> for you. Oh. oh no, no praying for Lathander. Oh, no. <laughs> I could say, Lathander, allow the thief to work. Well, yeah. fifteen is what you yeah. needed. Okay. Yeah. So oh, yeah. If fifteen is good enough, then okay. Okay. So, the door opens into a hallway beyond. Sorry, I remember next time. I keep forgetting about guidance. I keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not in love anymore. Well, let's go. Okay. I'm sneaking. Right, I'm, <laughs> peeking. Sneaking. I'm peeking behind, just behind the wall to see what's on the right. What's on the other side of the Is wall? A door. Uh, yeah, there is a door uh, to your right left and uh, um, to to the north. Yeah. Okay, I will listen at that door. I'll do the same over here. This one. Uh, go ahead and make perception checks. <laughs> Christ. Oh man. This one died. Oh, my rolls are on point today. By you, you my hear arm. you hear nothing. Wilden, you hear nothing. And uh, <laughs> your perception, Phalanx, uh, are you just looking around or listening? I am listening and looking around. Same safe. Right. Just, you know, my fail senses. Yeah. Uh, you don't see or hear anyone. Hmm. Right. I, I look to the rest. Silence so far. Spotted nobody. I want, want to go left. Can I have one of those like, cults? Get the others or something? It's very fucking quiet. Mm -hmm. I actually kind of want to open this door, guys. Go for it. I support you. Right. Okay. I will, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep watch on here. I'll keep watch. You just okay. gotta open the door. Uh, I my chart it before he does that. Right Let me I try check. to keep my eyes open, see if I hear any cultists approaching. Or, well, monks. We should not lie to ourselves, it's cultists. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this, there's dicks, only one way this are. ends. This ends in bad Death. Death. Pain and suffering. Death, pain and suffering. Let's Wait. go, open the door. The door seems to be locked. Kick it. Or pick <laughs> it. Maybe. You'll kick it? Okay, make strength check. No, oh, no, no, no. no. I just You'll pick, pick it. it. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, make a thief stools check then. Jesus, please. Oh, it's a dex. But every listen to buy him. Yeah. Uh, plus two, eighteen. Alrighty, gotcha. It doesn't open. Hmm. I think I get. Do you need me to bless you? <laughs> I don't think you'll let you me try again. You need some energy from Lathander. <laughs> if the DM lets me try again, for sure. Um, hmm. With the guidance, I will uh, let you try one more time. Yes. All right. I touch Wilden. Gross. And I say. Rest of that. <laughs> oh. oh ah. God. <laughs> so then. You are too deep Ten, to okay. by you vomiting. <laughs> yeah, I think you know the results. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what, what, yeah, go ahead. Do you want to kick it? No, because I'm not strong enough to do that, so I have to kick it. No, let me observe, see if I can find something behind the door. Go for it. I invoke my failure senses. Okay. This is going to be a thing, guys. <laughs> Uh, so that's another perception it. for you? Yeah. Alright. Well, I use my pass for 15. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, you hear nothing. Well, oh, it's a pass of 16, by the way, in the meantime. I forgot the Oh, yeah, it is. It is. But you still hear nothing. Still I still hear nothing. Well, that. I hear nothing. Well, while they are attempting that. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to like literally peek around the corner. All right. There are stairs leading down. Ooh. Uh, can I assume I would figure out it is going to the garden? Ah, uh, yeah. You would probably okay. know that. Okay. And I would like to uh, listen in on the door I'm next to. All right. That's another perception check. You're fairly certain that there's nothing in this room. Go like sound of that, but sure. Okay. I, I, I turn around to breast, seems, and, and, and whisper that seems that the training room is empty. Um, 
if you want to check it out, this might be the good time. Have big kick something, please. <laughs> I just want something to be kicked. Yeah. And, and right after right I say that, I would, yeah, I was going to. Yeah. Just to be sure. You're going to do what? Just peek around this corner as yeah. well. Yeah, seems to be another hallway. Yeah, and there is the three hallway doors. To the next end of the hallway. One, two, and three. Uh, yes, there's three doors, uh, and there's also yeah. another door where you pointed uh, just now. Uh, so yeah, right there. So there's a door there, a door there, there and there, here to the training room, and there to the okay. party. Uh, all right. Um, I yeah. Uh, if we want to go to this room, we should do it probably now before we move further. Into the training room. Yes. Have a kid. Open it. At least there is a chance, exactly. But this a lot. This hallway has a lot of doors, and if it would be good unlocked, for us it's... to know that at least no one is behind us. How you want to open it? I'll... Um, yeah. Do you open, open it? it? Okay. Uh, the door to the training room. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That opens. No problem. So, in this <laughs> room, uh, you can see a large straw mat covering the floor, and wooden racks along the walls which hold quarter staffs, pole arms, and other weapons. And you can also see um, a familiar triangular symbol carved into the center of the room's western wall. Yeah. Oh, well, there yeah, goes a proof. All right. Oh, these guys are black earth. Yep. I'm kicking down this door. But or... guys, you know, I'm moving out. Seeing a... You're letting Vic kick down the door. What? Do, what does oh, it okay. mean, guys? We have found a burial site between these golden masked guys, who are apparently black. <laughs> And some bugbears wearing also black earth colors, and they were dead. Do you suppose they were yeah. infighting, or Maybe they were executing a some of killed them? I think they killed the men that were protecting the delegation, and then that's what we found. We found like their whatever people were traveling with the delegation, because those those. The other, the other people, their symbol, they were, they were like hired guards, I believe. Am I correct, DM? That the uh, symbol that the, the unburied people were wearing was there were like city guards or something like that. Uh, yeah, they they seem to be the uh, Mirabar military. Yeah. Let me just change the sounds ever so slightly. So map uh, tool can keep up. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I mean, you've got me curious now. I'm sorry? Say again? I said uh, we're going to try and get in this lock. We can also try a different door because it might be still to the same room. Try. I would like to figure out if these doors are locked. Uh, let me see. Before I say something dumb. All right. Uh, the door is not locked currently. Uh, silence for me. The door is not locked. Hmm. I, I peek around the corner and go like, "These are unlocked." Do you Which think they're going to the same room? room? That's weird. Well, um, would you still like to try and kick the door down, uh, Wilden? I'll wait for Please. them to decide on the door that they're doing there, but yeah, I'm still ready to do this when they give me the go. Okay, yeah, just give me the sign. If either of you want to I say we kick the door open. down. Can I, can I listen to the doors that we are next to? Okay, it's uh, another perception check. Um, 
you hear some gentle bubbling on the other side of the door. Oh. Maybe some sort of alchemy, alchemy uh, lab or something. Ooh. Can I try to listen to to look and listen through the keyhole? Okay, uh, you can make a perception check as well. Fairly senses. Well, that's All a sixteen. Right. <laughs> um, you also hear the same thing. And uh, looking through the keyhole, uh, all you see is a couple of barrels standing in the corner of the room. I described this to Valkia. Does the room seem deep enough to be the same room as the other? It does not. Okay. It's definitely I, a different I, room. I, different room. And I assume that didn't do more than that. <laughs> that Weldon just goes like, okay. <laughs> do you want me to do a strength check or a force empowered rent attack on the door? Uh, you can do either. Hmm. I keep strength. like nudging Fick and while it's right. going on, like, kick it, kick it, kick it. Uh, you kick the door. <laughs> Nothing. Still locked. Do it again. <laughs> 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 Nothing. 19 gives it nothing? Yep. That's what I said. You need to upgrade your pick, dude! I'm, 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 um, I'm, um, casting guidance on Vic. Alright. do this, my robotic friend. Can I? <laughs> yeah, he pulled no, you. He can't. Why does Can no one work him? with my blessings? <laughs> okay, so, like, no I one likes so Lathander. <laughs> it seems. After the third try of that. I think Valkia becomes like impatient, mm -hmm. um, and she just goes like, if, "If if something new doesn't appear, they will just try to like, I don't know, burn it down." So <laughs> let, let me just go and try to open these doors. Okay, uh, that door that you're standing near uh, opens yes. without a problem. Okay, and uh, if. In, is anyone? In? There is no one currently in the room. Okay. And what does it seem to be? Uh, you see some piles of firewood stacked neatly against the wall, uh, and four large copper kettles stand in iron frames above fireboxes, uh, with copper tubing uh, connecting them. And uh, you can see several casks and kitchen equipment. And um, shelves on the eastern wall hold um, a few dozen of brown bottles sealed with red wax. This seems to be some kind of distillery. Right. Okay. First things first. I, I gesture to Wilden. Like, come on, come in. I mean, um, mm -hmm. seems to be your type of shit. Um, and I point to the uh, to the like copper uh, tubing and, and, and cauldrons and so on. And I myself would like to go and grab one of the uh, one of the bottles and mm -hmm. pocket it. All right. Um, it seems to be. Um, uh, it, it's not labeled at the moment, but it seems to be uh, some kind of amber-ish in color uh, liquid. Mm -hmm. The doors in this place are they are they wooden or are they stone or? Uh, they are uh, made of wood. Uh, some of them, particularly the uh, exterior doors, have uh, iron banding uh, on them to to reinforce them. Uh, what strikes you as odd, though, is that the door that you've so far had a lot of trouble with uh, trying to get open is just a normal wooden door, wooden door, but it just won't budge. Okay. We just opened it and broke in the door. You're doing what? <laughs> hmm. 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 Let's see here. What are you doing? Let me Cut give it a try in the old-fashioned way. I can poke it. 
poke it? Yeah, poking won't do anything. It's wood. You can feel that it's wood. I, uh... Stand back. I run toward it and try to bust through the door with all my body weight. Okay, uh, make a strength check. And uh, as, as I run, I say... A thunder, give me weight. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. Thunder, make me fat. With guidance, then. And That's a lot 20. of gusto. <laughs> 20, good. 20 total. You... It takes all your strength to ram into this door. And you shove your shoulder into it. And you're still standing there. In front of the locked door. What? And now I really want to get in. This is bullshit. Isn't God the, damn it. Isn't it a 20 like doesn't get us in? Or something? This is fucking shit. What about you? It, can it be like magical? Magically locked rather than physically? Does it seem like it's. Oh, no. Because it seems like you all are just throwing the yourself yeah. on the door and nothing is Maybe happening. Maybe we should check the, if there's some magic involved there. Yeah. I can't Jordan, if you will, please. Mm -hmm. Also, I would like to close the... Oh, damn it. I put myself on a door and I'm oh, okay, okay. myself. Uh, but I would like to close the... Guidance? Uh, hang on. <laughs> so yes. If someone I put sees my it... shoulder on his end. Please, send some magic. For the... Um, nice. For the uh, training room as well. Would you like to close the door as well? Yes. Okay. Can I turn the can check as well? Some proficient? Uh, yes, you can both make Arcana checks for once. Well, my shit, <laughs> my rolls is the fucking worst thing. Excellent. Um, Wilden, looks like wood. you get the vibe, you know, trying these different things to get this door to open. You do get the sense that, um, it's not a, a standard lock holding this thing together. Ah. Can I look to see if I find any type of mechanism, um, secret latch or something that's locking this door from the outside? Um, make a perception check. Or investigation? Yeah, or I'm investigation, like yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm way better at that. Okay. All right. Uh, you do not see not any. Uh, you do not see any um, any latches or levers or any funny business that might open this door from the outside, safe from a doorknob. Do I know anything about these special kind of locks? Um, are you proficient with Organa? No. Is it a magic lock? Then it would make sense, but... Um, I would say that, as a priest, you probably won't have a lot of... Um, you know... You could... Experience with magic locks? Yeah, you wouldn't probably have a lot of experience with magic locks, yeah. yeah. There is like a... Because I miss it, is there like a tangible lock on it, or it's just not budging? Um, uh, the lock that must be in this door must be you know on on the inside there isn't like some physical uh, padlock on the outside of it um but you know it's just not budging and it's gotta be can i in. yeah can i cast create water while something's in it um i don't think you can okay then i won't okay wait <laughs> hold on isn't it an idea to use some water Put it in the lock, then freeze it so that you would precisely <laughs> fill the holes. So the lock's on the other side. No. <laughs> hmm. If it's on the other side, I don't think that'd be very easy. At this I'm point, like um, yeah? at this point, Valkia, you uh, hear coming from um, somewhere on the western side of the building. You can hear doors opening and uh, footsteps approaching. I wave at the at the rest and like do the like, and I uh, like gesture them to to listen and 
point to the west. It's like someone, someone's moving around. Uh, Do the yeah. footsteps sound different from the one we heard from either the dwarf or the lady? Um, they seem to be similar. You know, they seem to be like normal human footsteps. You know what Perhaps we uh, should hide in one of the rooms. Yes, but which one? They are fast approaching from yeah, like this direction. I'm at dash okay, in the, the from here, right? room. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, from there. Uh, you also hear um, at this point there is uh, a door further down uh, into this hallway. It's currently opening, and then you can mm -hmm. hear another door opening. All right. And closing I will dash again. into the, I, this room. Guys, I got a plan. Let's. Yeah. Quickly now. Go into the training room, open the door. Say, everyone, quickly, get inside. Mm hmm. To the training room? Just put yourself yes. inside. And close the door. Guys, mm -hmm. hide. I will stand at the corner of the door. All right. Listen through the door hole. Yeah. If I notice people around here, or well here, approaching this area, the area right here, All I right. will cast Thaumaturgy at the stairs to make it seem like there's some kind of barrel rolling down the stairs okay you mean uh, these stairs yes okay i will whisper to will and or to Vok or whatever um if they come in here can you guys very very quickly make it look like i'm tied up is that an option i will pull out some rope from my bag <laughs> <laughs> why, why do you want to be sure? there? I just because it gives me something to yell about so that I don't look like I'm fucked. <laughs> so I don't... Yeah, I don't know. Just something to, to maybe talk us out of this. Um, at this point, uh, Phalanx, you do hear a door opening and then uh, you see two of the monks um, walking into that corridor. All right, I cast Thaumaturgy to make it sound like something's fallen on the stairs. Okay. Uh, one of them just kind of looks over at the stairs, quickly runs over, checks, runs down the steps a bit, and then walks back. They seem to have been headed towards the distillery. Hmm. I try to sign to the other people. Silence. And the so door. I put my, yeah. My, my, I put my index finger in front of my speech modulator. Mm -hmm. They are silent as a mouse. And um, the door opens again. Two other figures step into the hallway and are headed for the door to the training room. Oh no. What do you do? I cut a few pieces off the rope and I just for Volk yet to time me up. I cast Thaumaturgy at the distillery. Okay. To make I, it sound like there's I a do fall. tie by you up. I ready. Not very, very rent. tightly, just like, just like, like <laughs> you know, wrap the, it somehow around her and like okay. <laughs> make a little, little you... fall. <laughs> So there's there's thaumaturgy at the distillery. You're readying for some power rent, uh, yeah. Wilden for uh, Vic. Um, so one of the monks walks over to the distillery, opens the door. Is everything all right in here? Yeah. Why? I I heard a noise. Oh, that's weird. I didn't hear hear anything. Oh, huh. huh. all right then. And they go back to their business. I cast, I cast thaumaturgy again down the stairs. The same noise that I made in the distillery. <sighs> You go check it out, and uh, the other one will open the door while uh, the the one uh, the other dude just goes towards um, the stairs. Um, I want to yeah? kind of like gesture towards the rest to kind of stand down a little bit. At this point, the door opens. The figure steps in, and, and that's where we'll I take a break. <laughs> Wow! Oh, <laughs> talk about a cliffhanger. Yeah, that's what they're for. He's about to get slammed, though. <laughs>
All right, yeah, let's get some drinks, uh, get some mm-hmm. toilet, br- cool. toilet breaks in, get some snacks, <laughs> and we'll get cool. right back to the action. See you in a bit. All right. And we're back. What's up, Twitch? Are you ready for some ass kicking? Hmm. <laughs> On which side? <laughs> uh, so first Ooh, we'll be Jake. Geez, I don't know. We've got the numbers. Yeah, uh, I'm just gonna start the battle music. <laughs> <laughs> um. Fight! 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 All right. So first of all, what's happening is uh, this guy's gonna get punched in the face with a force-empowered rend. Yes. So, a roll for that. Oh, gosh. Okay, that doesn't hit, unfortunately. Then I will start whining and fake crying and everything. And I will start saying uh, to him, You gotta help us, this guy's inside, had us tied up here for so long, and we're trying to get out, and we're stuck here, and he's been very mean to me, and he's been punching me, and I want to get out. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna try to fake cry. <laughs> Maybe this guy was just here like half an hour ago, but alright. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you're doing that, okay? What's what's everyone else doing? Crossbow. Okay. Uh, if you wanna just straight up shoot, go ahead. Uh, Thirteen just misses. Oh man, Jesus! All right. Um, did you snap on the grid already on the map? Uh, no, I usually don't do that on these maps because it doesn't really, yeah. you know, match All right. up. Alright. Really well. Um, I'd, I'd like to cast and then directly attack with my spiritual weapon. Alright. So, you know, as not to set the building on fire. So, I did change that a little bit. So, if you click spiritual weapon right now, you should summon it to the map. So, can you test that Ooh, out for me, please? Cool. Uh, second levels. Spiritual weapon. Okay, so it's right there. I don't know where you want it. Maybe like the right Ooh, there. Yeah, exactly right here. So he's it's, kind of boxed. Yeah, it's At owned. Least he feels like he's boxed in. It's owned by him. all players, um, but just don't be a dick and move other people's <laughs> summons around. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, when I summon or you, really? and so I summon yeah. it, and I will smack the dude. Okay, with smack the, sword. the dude. I yeah, that dude. hits. <laughs> yeah. Seven force damage. All right. Uh, so that was your action. Uh, spiritual weapon, or that's a bonus action, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bonus action. I still got an action left here, so I can still cast a damage cantrip. Yes, you can. So Sacred flame. Since he's damaged, I will cast Toll the, the dead. dead with a D twelve. All right. Uh, wisdom save, yeah. Well, the damage is terrible, but he just needs to roll a uh... wisdom save. Yeah. Let me just get a stat block. Probably <clears throat> has high wisdom. I'm stupid. <laughs> Monks, nah. Wisdom save. That is an eight. So he takes the four uh, necrotic. Woo! <laughs> All right, and then Valkia, you were tying up Bio for some reason. Yeah, because, yeah, because I was trying to get off the perception or something to try and convince him that he's being tied up. But so everyone's punching him now. I guess. <laughs> I'll just turn it up, you can, you can, you can tr- still try deception if you want to, <laughs> or you can ditch your plan. That's your choice. No, for this round, I'm gonna try it, and then we'll go stab. Okay, uh, make a deception check. Uh, that's not great. Okay. I mean, you're confident in your abilities to deceive people. You don't know if it worked. This guy is being punched by multiple people, so... uh... Uh, And now we roll initiative. Not going by 15. Yeah, mine aren't even going to. Yeah, it's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> okay, let me just sort that again. 
Hello? Hello? Oh wait, I didn't uh... It didn't actually roll... What did he roll? Oh, there we go. Yes, there we are. Alrighty, so up first would be Valkia. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. I will. Uh, given that until now I was probably busy trying to like do what I wanted, so <laughs> I'm slightly like. Uh, rushing with that, so mm -hmm. as I turn to and, and see that others are already uh, punching the monk, mm -hmm. I will uh, raise one of my hands in front of me and uh, a small flame appears. Okay. And I would like to hurl it at him. Okay. Uh, casting produce flame. Okay. Should be an attack roll in there if you click it. But that does not hit, unfortunately. Damn it! Anything oh, else well. you want to move? Uh, um, I do want to move a little. Mm -hmm. And after that, I would like to. Uh, as a bonus action cast, like, because as, assuming that there might be more coming in, I am not going to expect a ranged combat, so I'm, I will pull up, I will kind of hold on to my uh, quarter step and cast Shillelagh. Alrighty, no problem. Uh, let me just mark that for you. There you go. <clears throat> All right, that's your turn then. Yep. Okay. Bye, you. You're on the floor. <laughs> Does it look like he's responding to it? I mean, he's being punched. I'm assuming not, right? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look like your plan worked. So I'm just using my at him. <laughs> okay, <laughs> make an attack roll. Uh, Eleven. Three pieces of damage. It shouldn't be two-handed though. It should just be one-handed, I think. It? Yeah, if, if you're going ranged, it's it's just one. Oh hit. yeah, you're right. Sorry. But yeah, you can still take the yeah, you can still take the eleven. I'll I'll take the eleven though, which yeah. doesn't. <laughs> it's not as much. And I will use my bonus action to summon my little uh, uh, tentacle thing. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, there you go. Just put it wherever you it. like. I don't see it. Oh yeah, that's because it's outside the room. There you go. Oh okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it. I can't put it right there because this is a. This block is Okay, locked. it's it's in the door opening. And it'll mm -hmm. make a little attack. Mhm. Mm just a little one. <laughs> Small attack. <laughs> uh, how do I Pickle. attack with it? Um, do you have the selection window open because it still has yes. that attack button? Oh yeah, you're pretty right. Uh, I do not because I can put it away or open that. Selected. There we go. Uh, doesn't. Oh wait, there we go. Yeah. Oh, 19 to hit. Yeah, Five that hits. Now. Hell yeah. Five. Okay. He's looking surprised, if anything, and a little hurt. <laughs> and um, no, we'll stay there. Just take the rest of the turn to get back out of this room. Okay, Phalanx. All right, time to smack the dude. I'm using my bonus action to um, direct the sword to attack um, the monk. Mm -hmm. So here we go. If the game allows me. Boom. Okay, six. Uh, both would have hit. So I'll go with the first one. Um, oh. Five force damage. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> The power of surprise round. Okay, 
Anything else? Yes, I can still cast. So, uh, let me get the spell sheet. I am casting... Um, let me cast... Um, burning Hands. Okay. Are you aware but it's a cone? <laughs> it's a cone, but the does it hit Valkia if I point it at her dire at this direction? Uh, let me just well this direction make that visible to you. It's a fifteen foot cone, yeah. Yeah, I don't know how big the grid is. There you go. Uh, <laughs> okay, can you turn it so that the only one getting hit is? Uh, not quite actually. The you monk. Would, you would still hit. Uh, oh wait, you the other side. Yeah. Uh. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like somewhere in between there and. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I know what you're going. Like just a little bit, so that he is in the peripheral of the burning hands and yeah. he still get. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. No problem. Uh. So that's a dex save for me. I think. It is a dex save. Yeah. Okay. Mm. That's a 15. What's your spell safety C? Yeah, you made it. All right, so half damage, Just I'm assuming. Barely. All Just right. Barely. Click the button. So you get three damage. There you go. Three damage. Ugh, that's terrible. Mm. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> um, he, he just kind of you know jumps out of the way and um, then you just catch his his um, uh, his legs as he jumps out of the way um, but he falls to the floor and then the flames actually lick across his whole body and he's consumed in fire Ooh. Oh. nice there is now a straw mat which is burning in the middle of the room though Awesome. <laughs> I yeah, still I, so um, <laughs> Let's try to douse the flames as quickly as possible. Bayou, do your water thingy. Uh, <laughs> give me a second. Uh, that's all you do? Do you want to move, Phalanx? Um, well, I don't have shit. I have, don't have anything to douse the flames with me right now, so. Mm -hmm. Blanket? I don't have a blanket. Yeah, you don't sleep. Never mind. <laughs> or do I have a blanket, DM? I don't think so. Um, I don't know if okay. it's in in your uh, equipment. Well, I have adventuring gear and a bedroll. You could use a bedroll. Oh, you have a blanket. I'm using yeah. my dead bedroll to douse the flames because I don't use a bedroll anyway. Um, you already used your action and your bonus action though, so that will be uh, your next so, yeah, turn. I then. can't do shit. No. I will. Uh, Alright, then I will just keep it at that. Okay. Um, let me see. You hear uh, a door opening. And uh, yeah, that's about it. It was the same door that, uh, you know, opens um, to, uh, you know, let the people into this hall. That's yeah. that's what you hear, but like, you don't see anyone uh, currently. Is initiative still active or initiative still active? Because there is still the dude that went after your barrel sound and has since turned around and right. is looking so right at this scene that's unfolding here. Uh, Wilden, you're up next. Okay. Um... See how far how far is he from Vic Rattlehead? Um, I'll do a magic ring. Oops. He's about twenty five feet uh, from the door, and he's about thirty feet, uh, no thirty five feet from uh, Vic Rattlehead. Okay. Um, 
guess I'll try to douse the flame. All right. Uh, what would what would you use? What would... I'm sorry. I said I'll, I'll try to douse the flame uh, with my blanket as Wilden for Wilden's yeah. action. Okay. Um, yeah, you you just you know pat out um, an area of it. You know it's gonna take um, a few of you a few moments to pat all of it out because it's a large straw mat. Mm -hmm. So yeah, do bear that in mind. But yeah, you and have fine. yeah. And then for Vic Val, I had already the force and power rend again. Okay, for anything that comes through the door. Yep. Okay, uh, bringing us to the monk, um, who will walk forward and uh, look in the direction where you heard the door opening. And he says, Mistress, we have intruders. And, um. Ah. Oh, no. Uh, then he will move forward, attempt to punch um, the tentacle, which does nothing. And then. Uh, he will run this way mm. I don't know it's probably like move about that far okay uh, Valkia that brings us back to your turn so it was uh, it was the, is you said I'm sorry the first one I think Valkia this one right yeah um, uh, the 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 way he went, you mean? Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. He went, uh, yes. he went that way. Okay. I just didn't catch the uh, the arrow, uh, or mm -hmm. what was the pointed thing? Okay. Hmm. So, I would like to. Okay, let me let me do some uh, <laughs> um, on distance. <laughs> um, or uh, could you uh, show me how big a twenty feet radius would be? Uh, originating from you or just oh, a point? I mean, like for somewhere here, but like ah. I just so that I have like a visual and yeah, I can imagine it. Okay, hang on. 20 feet, you know, in this confined space is uh, quite a lot, actually. I know, that's why I'm asking. There it is. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, yeah, the, the vision limiting is kind of hmm, sucky. Um, okay. So it, uh, if I put it in this room, it would encompass the entire yes. room and then some. Yeah, okay. So, what are you doing? Hmm. Uh, uh, nah, not yet. Okay. Uh, well, uh, you, you can remove the, the 20 feet radius. Mm -hmm. uh, as I will not do that yet. Instead, I shall peek through well I lost myself never mind okay uh, uh, I will uh, open the door that is next to me okay no problem and I will go through them sure so that's like five feet and then I will go like more 15 more all right yeah you see this guy uh, seemingly wanted to wanting to flank you and do I see anyone else, like someone who he, he was talking to or anything like that? Uh, nope. Not from where you're standing. I will move a bit closer to this and I will... Poison spray him in the face! Okay, that's... Uh, oh no, that, that wasn't like a cone or anything. Uh, that's a save no. from me? 
That's a safe, yes. Constitution. Alrighty. Constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a five. <laughs> so roll for damage. Can you hear me? I couldn't hear you until now. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, you can roll for damage because I rolled a five. And I think that was my internet because it kicked me off the thing. Uh, if you could click on my poison prey yeah. hit, I would be thankful. 12 poison damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, Max. <laughs> All right. That'll work. I just like ran out of the corner and just like. Um, like he, he just kind of looks up. Uh, Right as you cast the spell, and looks at you, and uh, then you cast the spell, and there's just puff of smoke in uh, right in his face, and he just goes Ugh! covering himself. Uh, let me actually kick you out so you can reconnect. Oh yes, please. Thank there you, you. go. Um, and would you like to do anything else on your turn? I um... believe that's it, right? Thinking, no, none of us was hurt yet, right? So uh, far. Nope. Okay. Um, in that case, I will just. I would actually like to move a little bit back, mm -hmm. so that I'm behind a corner. Okay. Kind would you... of just, kind of just speaking. Um, so that I kind of I see the guy, but mm -hmm. anyone who would like walk from here would not be able to see me. Okay. Yeah, you also have the door uh, from the yes. yeah, which is in the way. Yes, yes. So right. So yeah. there you go. Uh, bringing us back to Bayou. Can you hear me? How's your mic doing? Yeah, sorry. Um... Okay. <laughs> There's been some loud shit in the background, so I put push the talk on and I keep forgetting. Mm -hmm. Um, how precisely can I gauge where a fuck is at? Um, I'm sorry, say again? How precisely can I gauge where a fuck is at? Um, f um, through the wall, you mean? Yeah, I just meant like where she's at in general, like where she went. Um, I mean, you would have seen me going through the door because I opened yeah, it right wh in where she, of your face. Where she is exactly, I would have you roll an intelligence check to see where she is exactly. Uh, sure, I'd do that. There is still it's half a burning good. straw mat in here. But, uh, yeah. yeah, we'll deal with that in a second. I'd probably don't know if I know <laughs> okay. where. That's, hmm, that's a save, sorry, wait. Can I get a check or do you just want to keep that one? A check, please. That's a bit better. Okay. Uh, you know that she went around the corner, but it's difficult to pinpoint exactly where she went. Which uh, door was it again? This. Yeah, the. This I go into? Yeah, this one. Oh. Eastern door. Um, then I'm just gonna cast create water on the mat in the middle of it. Okay. And I can control how big it is, right? Because I have a max of like summon. I assume it's. You have a max, small. yeah. It's like a few gallons or something, isn't it? It's or a, an, an area of effect, I think. It is like 35 a feet squared. Yeah, e area easily. Easily. Uh, like you can cover this entire... 30-foot cube? cube? Cover the I can make your 30-foot cube, I'm not going to... 30-feet cube, I'm not going to do that. Um. You could cover almost the entire... Um, you know, the entire uh, room. But if no, you wanna, wanna cover the mat, like <laughs> exactly cover the mat with just like this thin sheet of water, it just goes I like. Can rain? <sighs> just a rain if I. You can rain on it, out. yeah, no problem. So, yeah, just rain on it. Um. So it's yeah. as if it's it's as if it's there's now um, uh, a hole in the roof. Yeah, she just started a sprinkler system. Yeah. Yeah, basically. That's canon. <laughs> you invented this shit. <laughs> Um, and I will start. I will just give Wilden the the what about in a second. If I have to make a sprinkler. Um, and I'm nice. gonna walk out into the wall, to, to the, the the hallway. Okay. I'm just over there. Okay. 
Uh, there you are. There you win. And you can I'm see the left of my move around the corner. We'll take at least a bit of a movement to get kind of behind her to see what she's looking at because I can't see shit. What, ah, are, you, what are you looking at? Okay. And I will take my over in the corner and have to attack the dude. Okay, no problem. Go for it. 23 to hit! Jeez, your tentacle so rolls so well, like almost all the time. Yeah, why is it so much better than me in everything that I think? <laughs> Except for being a sprinter, obviously. Very, very good at that. But, um, yeah. I think that's all I can do because I did my spell thing. Mm hmm. Alright, this guy's looking bad. <clears throat> Just so you know. Uh, Phalanx. Right. Oh, I'm. Yeah, at this point, uh, you can see around the corner uh, another one of the monks approaching, but uh, the same clothing, but this person's mask does not have any eye holes. Okay. Just so you so, know. Um, How is the dude to my right looking? Bad. <laughs> really Very fucking bad. bad. Right. Uh, well. Uh, let me get my measuring tool. And the spell description to see how far I can move the sword exactly. I think it might be 20... 20 feet. Yeah. I'm moving... Yeah, I, need, I can move it up until me. I assume. Can I not move it through the wall? Since it's a spectral thing? Yeah. To me, that would seem logical. If the spell description says otherwise. Yeah, you can. It's spectral, so it can move through the wall. Yeah, makes sense. I move the sword to this dude through the wall and then mm -hmm. try to stab him with it. Oof! <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, you move yeah. it through the I'm wall. <laughs> you move it through the wall yeah, and with, with the pointy stab end, the it just, uh, yeah. In the head, you said? Yes. Okay, yeah, you stab him in the head with, the, with this Watch. spectral sword and it just straight up um, falls to the floor his head destroyed <laughs> is right, there you hear phalanx whisper you hear phalanx <laughs> yes uh, you hear phalanx say the only one who can actually hear it is wilden but probably or maybe the girls too i just say boom headshot <laughs> <laughs> interesting and then, um i use the uh, um Last of my movement, so the dude, um, the dude I'm looking at now, yeah, to my left, has he noticed me? Yes. <laughs> uh, does he look hostile? Um, this person just kind of has their arms in their robes at this point. Mm hmm So, can't really All see. Right. That's your turn. Uh, no, I'm okay. readying my action. Okay. Okay. Cast... Still have an action. I still have my action yet to cast Scorching Ray on the dude if mm -hmm. he does anything that makes me think he's going to be hostile. Okay. So if he moves towards me in an attacking fashion or casting an offensive or or defensive spell, mm -hmm. I'm casting my my Scorching Ray. Okay. Um. And I uh, before my turn ends, I want to say. Don't, to to uh, the dude I'm looking at, don't even think about it. And um, this person will respond to you, and you hear a womanly voice come out from under uh, the mask. I didn't know we were, we were having new sparring partners. And she will move in to attack you. Which means I will cast my Scorching Ray. Yes, you will. So you can just click on that three times. Uh, that misses, I think. That. Let me check. Yes, that misses. That, that misses. 
Well, that definitely hits. Yeah. <laughs> that misses. <laughs> uh, four fire damage, and she doesn't seem very phased by it. And she is going to attack you now. Would you like to use your warding flare? Yes. Okay. So I did... post his advantage on her. Okay. So she is going to do 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 uh, three quick strikes on you with disadvantage. Um, so the first one is a 23 with disadvantage. With, with disadvantage? Yes, I rolled a 25 and a 23. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, well, that hit. <clears throat> and also I need you to make a... Uh, where is it again? Uh, a constitution saving throw, please. Oh no. Constitution save. Um, that's terrible. This isn't against poison or anything, so... Um, you feel um, your... Uh, I, I was gonna say muscles, but you don't have muscles. You can feel like your your joints, the joints in your very being, just kind of freeze up. And you are uh, stunned. Shit. Mm, let me mark that. There you go. You are stunned. And then there's uh, two more attacks, which would have advantage because you're stunned, but because of your warding flare, are just straight rolls now. Uh, also, I forgot the damage for uh, the first attack, which would be uh, 12 bludgeoning. Ooh, second attack is a 26. Jesus fucking Christ, that's, this woman is really strong. That's 10 bludgeoning damage. And the third attack is a 20. Jesus fucking Christ! Which that's is... Always, that's, that's, wait, that's not disrespectful. But how the fuck does she have rolls that high? Which is 13 bludgeoning damage. Jeez. So oh, you are now unconscious, yeah. Holy cow! You fucking one face. <laughs> uh, we run. <laughs> Just leave him there. No. Well, no. Well, no. Okay. Uh, so that is gonna be her turn. Wilden, you're up. Okay, Vic's going in. Out back here. Oops. Uh, I reach down and I cast Cure Wounds on Phalanx. Okay. Let me click on that. So wow. get seven healing nice. hit points back. <laughs> Oof, right. And the Up defender again. is going Am to... Am I still stunned? No, I... you are not. Yeah, thank you. Oh, God. Force and power rend. Yeah, that will very, very much miss. Jesus. <clears throat> uh, is there anything else you can do? Uh, me checking on that... Don't believe so. That's it. All right, bring us back to Falkia. Right. <laughs> that happened. Yeah, that happened. Um. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Change the panel music around a little. Let's see. Fire. Phalanx, do you get warning flare every turn or no? Um, you get a f you get like a few of them, don't you? I get I get several charges which I can use at whenever I want, but I only have a limited amount. Gotcha. 
Okay, so first. Oh, I need to use my reaction. So. Uh... Oh, okay, that's good to know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Volcano. For turn. I'm sorry, I missed what you said. Uh, there is right now. Mm -hmm. The hallway is kind of like full. There would be no way for me to get to the lady, right? There is a dead body on the floor. There's a spiritual weapon and a tentacle floating in the middle of the hallway, and then there's oh, three people like blocking you. Oh, they shouldn't be an issue to you know go through. Yeah, but um, the other but ones. That I, my my movement would end somewhere here, so. That means I there is no place for me to stand, uh, so I couldn't get to her. Yeah, uh, and even because of the door and Wilden uh, being right next to the door, you would actually get as far as you know the line, yeah, where the door is exactly. Okay, in that case, let's see. How many hits? Oh boy! Boy! Oh boy! <clears throat> um yeah I will go back inside mm -hmm. uh, Ooh. And... here mm -hmm. and I would like to Oh no, actually. <laughs> uh can I do one thing before I go there? Uh sure. I'll allow that. I will cast healing word on uh, on Phalanx. Phalanx? Okay. What's the range on that? That's per should be enough healing words range is pretty big okay i uh, i don't know what yeah, it is heal so. healing word is like 60 feet oh yeah, yeah it would easily feet. make that no oh, problem uh, so another six that's it another six health yeah. nice okay and uh from here i would like to uh do prodigious flame again okay uh make an attack roll 15 hit uh no it doesn't damn which is interesting because this person isn't able to see through the mask. And she's just kind of ducks out of the way. Damn. All right, then. Um, that's my turn. All right. Bayou, what are you doing? I'm first of all going to move my tentacle right here. Mm -hmm. And make another little check. It doesn't hit. No, it doesn't. That's a good try. <laughs> yes, valiant um, effort. <laughs> Applause. I will buy you right over there. Can you show me... Uh, actually, no, I don't know exactly what a 5 foot cube looks like. I want to cast Cloud of Daggers. Interesting. Um, in a way that it only like hits her. Uh, like yeah, I mean, with her. technically, uh, the Steel Defender would be, like, right there, so you can cast it right on top of her if you want to. Sorry, you cut out for me. Um, uh, actually, Vic is, like, a little bit back, um, considering that everyone's, like, not in each other's space, you can, if it's a 5-foot cube, you can cast it right on top of her. Uh, doesn't that hit feelings? Mm, it shouldn't. How big are the, wait, don't be confused. So, so the, every, um... every grid, uh, so every, uh, except for uh, small creatures or of other sizes, medium creatures take up five feet of space. So if you cast Cloud yeah, Daggers... Yeah, but I mean, the box is five feet, isn't it? Yeah. But the, 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 the box is ten feet. Yeah, but it's a five foot cube. So it only... Yeah, but are the boxes on the map ten feet or not? Uh, oh, yes, yes they are. Oh, okay, that's why I'm confused. I thought it would take up an entire, like, square. No, 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 no. The boxes are 10 feet. Um, um, so for 5 feet, you should just um, take your own size into consideration. That's yeah. a 5 foot cube. Uh, I'll put it right on top of her then. Yeah, no problem. Um, we said that if, um, like, because of the... Sorry, I'm getting a bit confused. 
Uh, because of the way it works, it says that uh, Cloud of Daggers... First of all, Concentration is the first thing I'm going to figure that, so please help me out with that. But it says... When it enters the spell area for the first time. We've decided that is when I cast it, right? That's yes. I'm just going into the spell. Then he will take 44 damage. That is 4d4 mm -hmm. for the viewers at home, not 44. No, 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 no. <laughs> if only. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, does she get a save? Uh, it doesn't say. It doesn't just... say. No, I just have to think I just Nani? do the attack and I just have to do it. I don't know. You feel the air yeah, spinning daggers of to... five, feet, five feet in each side. Uh, quick just takes 44 slash damage. <laughs> Sick. Nice. <laughs> Alright, so go for it. You, <laughs> um, you should be able to click the button and it should roll 44. If you enter the correct spell level. Yeah. Eight. Eight, eight damage. slashing damage. And right. um, if she goes into the area or starts her turn there, she'll take it again. Yeah, no problem. Start of her turn, that's good to know. Anything else? Oh wait, you are concentrating, so let me mark that down for you. Uh, oh, it's in here. There we go. I'm sorry, say again? Um, so I have to roll to keep concentration, right? Yeah, but only if you get hit. Not at the beginning of my turn? No. Or the end of my turn? No. No, only if you are hit. Nope, thank you. That's that your it. turn? Okay. Yep. Um... Uh, Getting back to Phalanx, you're standing in front of this whirlwind of a woman who just punched you three times and knocked you the fuck out. What do you do? Well, if anyone thinks I'm staying at engagement distance, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that was a fucking lie. <laughs> because you were... Um... You, didn't you fall on the ground because of unconsciousness? Um... No. Yeah, I will say that. So you you would have to spend half of your movement to get back up. Yep, I do that. Okay. Sorry, I forgot to mark that now. I uh, move the sword. <laughs> oh man, this is getting so cramped. Yeah, you can just move it into the cloud of daggers. That's fine. <laughs> what is what is even happening? Oh yeah, that's just the beginning. I mean, you can do that. The sword is spectral anyway. Death house ain't got shit on this house. Yeah. <laughs> this corridor <laughs> even. You want to go? The sword will smack the woman. Okay. It doesn't smack the woman. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The woman. Alrighty then. Anything else um, you want to do? Move the rest of your movement, perhaps? Disengage as uh, an action? Yes, I will definitely disengage and try to go into the brewery. Where you know that there's two more of these people. That's true. I will not go into the Just room. warning you. <laughs> just warning. It's clown, right? I, I can just see Phalanx so, um, uh, going into the door and just slamming the door behind him and going... <laughs> and then just seeing two more of these dudes. Just yeah. hey, with, with aprons on, just brewing some beer. This, this is what I can do. Like, move here. Alright. While disengaging, otherwise I'm getting smacked again. Because I can go to the other side because Wilden's there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm so screwed. Yeah, uh, that's, that's your turn. Alrighty. Yeah, I can do. Uh, she first of all takes more cloud of daggers damage because she starts her turn in the cloud of daggers. So yeah. go ahead and roll for yeah. that. The new buttons are from me. Seven. Nice. All right. Yeah, it's consistent. Uh, consistent damage here. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. How will she move through this wall? Hmm. She is going to engage with both of you. Well, then, and uh, you're still defending. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, she's going to dish out some attacks. Um, the on first, uh, she is going to make two attacks on your steel defender and one on you. Okay. So um, let's do the one on you first. That's a 12. You get disadvantage. Oh, okay. Doesn't need it. You misses. <laughs> okay. I don't know if you have to say that afterwards or uh, uh, before. Before, I think he, he deflects. I, yeah. It doesn't say reaction on it. It just says it's a, like a skill. Right. Okay. I have a similar... Oh, it is a reaction. I'm sorry. It is a reaction. Hmm. I don't know if you would have to say that before... It says. Is it is it a, an attack that would hit you? It says uh, reactions deflect attack. The defender imposes disadvantage on the attack roll of one creature it can see within its five feet of it, provided the attack roll is against a creature other than the defender. Oh, okay. So yeah, in that case, it would be before that. Okay. But uh, you know, I I roll too early, so it's fine. Okay. I missed you. Uh, okay. So you still have that. If, the, if uh, he does attack me again, though, he will yeah. use it. Yeah, but uh, of course it can uh, use it for itself. So two, right. attacks, uh, two attacks against um, uh, the Steel Defender itself. Pop up. Mm -hmm. The first of which is going to be a 20 yeah, to hit. Uh, that is eight bludgeoning damage. And then I need a constitution save from your Steel Defender. Because she got her stunning strike back, y'all. Uh, he can't be stunned. He can't be stunned? Alright, then he automatically passes and I waste my ability. No Say that he's only immune to charmed, exhaustion, and poison. Ah. So I will roll constitution, but how much was the damage first? Uh, eight. Okay. Oh, why, why did you say he can't be stunned? Did you... I thought he couldn't, but he Oh, was, um, you thought he couldn't. All oh, right. Charm, exhausting charm and poison. All right. Um, so, constitution save. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, where is it again? All right, that does not succeed. So you, uh, your steel defender is now stunned. Eesh. He's still standing, you know, but he's just like kind of. Uh, what's happening to my body? Yeah. He's now a very fancy thing at a door, mm -hmm. like, you know, the door stopper. And then the second attack against him, uh, 220s, just, you know, not yes. not, not natural. Um, uh, that's another 9 bludgeoning damage. Okay. She's just gonna fucking stay there it and is fine. tank it. <laughs> Okay. Um, Wilden. I should also put the five foot cube there just so I have a visual representation of when she actually gets fully out. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, I didn't actually make that visible to you guys, but that's the little reticule over here. Does he get to make another constitution save? Uh, yeah. It's or is he just done until, the, until the end of her next turn. Okay. So unfortunately, you do not get a save, but not it's your turn. Problem. It's my problem. I will. Uh... Hmm. I'm gonna cast mending. On, okay. Uh, a gravel head. Uh, if you click the button, it should uh, roll for the hit points. Excellent. It should be two d six. Yeah. Yep. Eight. It is. Go ahead and add that. Uh, that was my action. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna stay there. All right. Uh, Valkia, back to you. Right. Okay. So, first question. Mm -hmm. From the time when I was in the distillery. Yeah. Did the, did the liquid seem like some? Because you said like they were probably making beer. Did it seem like some sort of alcohol? It, uh, I, I said beer is a joke, but uh, it didn't look like beer, but it did actually look like alcohol, yes. Yeah. 
would be to figure out if it was flammable. If you were there right now, and oh no, you I have a bottle. Have, yeah, I do so have a bottle. It will take your action to open the bottle and check it. You know, y you can probably like taste it and see if the the alcohol uh, proof is high enough. You know. Damn. Okay, I can't get to the to the distillery yet, anyways. So I yeah, will I really keep move. that in mind. Mm -hmm. Because maybe death could be a good way how to get rid of the <laughs> two on our right side. We just burn them. Um, I don't like these guys at all. Um, I will move a little to be mm -hmm. right my... over that dead body. Yes. <clears throat> I will stand over the dead body. Mm -hmm. There. Um, and I will reach around Vic. All right. And cast a poison spray again. So if you could come save. Constitution C. Any special things here? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, oh no. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, you you cast a spell, and uh, you can see the familiar puff of um, gas appearing in front of this person, and she just remains standing there in her you know her combat stance. Right. Doesn't seem very affected by it. Damn it. Mm, okay. Um, as a bonus action, I would like to use Balm of the Summer Court, mm -hmm. one of the die, uh, on A lines. All right. So that is uh, 1d6, that's 5 normal hit points plus 1 temporary. Yes, Yep. so you can so add normal. add temporary as well in your HP tracker. Yeah, so I, yeah, that's 1 temporary hit point, here we go. Excelente. Molto bene. <laughs> it's Italian, but alright. And after that, I will actually move a little to the back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's your turn? Yep. All right, Bayou. Yes. Uh, well, first thing I'm going to do is... She's oh, just out of the Cloud of Daggers, which is a shame. Yeah, I'm assuming I can't move it because it doesn't say it in my spells. So if I it doesn't say, that. then no. Um, okay, if I use it? something at her, does that break my concentration? I'm sorry? I need something at her, does that break my concentration? Uh, the no. only thing that can break your concentration is casting another concentration spell, which breaks your current concentration automatically, or if you get hit, you have to make a roll for it. Um, I'm assuming I can't get close to her right now, by the way. She's, like, She's kind of being blocked right now. Um, Unless you do a call, cool, like, wall run or something. <laughs> How difficult does that look right now? Ooh! Oh, that's okay. good. Uh, so that happens regardless of any cool wall runs you might do. Um, what if I want to like jump over or underneath still defenders to kind of end up here? Probably be easier to jump over me. Kind of. Yeah, it's yeah. end up there. Eh, actually, I might do that. Just like kick off the. Let me think. <laughs> Make an acrobatics check. Oh boy, that's been well last time I did it. I mean, he's smaller. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, I think that, yeah, I think that in the tavern when you rolled I to rolled do a backflip off the chair, you also rolled a three. Oh my god. So, um, you wanted to flip like off the door, you said? No, no, no off the wall. I'm not gonna jump into the, like off the off the wall a little bit. Okay. Um. So you you try to jump off the wall and you just kind of slip your feet, uh, just not quite getting enough traction on the wall, and you just shit. 
like land right behind the door. Behind so, it? Oh, there, yeah. Yeah. I'm assuming that's like my entire movement, or is that also my actions? Um, you can just about, yeah, that that counts as your movement, I'd say, not as your action. So use your uh, bonus action and your movement to start your action. So I have to check something about my client. Okay. Uh, you did throw it at a, at a dude, so it, you would have to use an action to resummon oh, it. Oh, I have to resummon. Shit, I have nothing but reach, do I? Uh, you have no. your chain sickle. Oh, right, but that... I want to, to slash my chain sickle. Now, it's the thing I have to check with the new at will cancel I have, the moving blade. Which has a range of... Oh, no, it has a range of 5 feet. Yeah, it's not just melee range. Of her, no. Yeah, not within 5 feet of her. Okay, then never mind. Then um, yeah, I'm just gonna use my chain sickle to try and, and bash her. Okay, that's like 10, 10 foot, right? Uh, yes. Well, the chain is longer, but from that point, it's more of a swing. I don't think it comes as a. Yeah, you could do like an overarching more. swing and hope you don't hit Wilden. <laughs> well, then I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have a high yeah. PC, so. No, it's seven. Yeah, yeah. it's like it's, it's not terrible. It's not a terrible swing, but you just kind of hit the wall, right, right in the corner, and you just in time, you know, pull it back to you. And that's all I'm gonna do. Alrighty. Um, Phalanx, you're up. Alright. Um... Trying to move here. The cloud, is the cloud of daggers is as big as a circle, right? Uh, yeah, it's a five foot cube. So well, you can just. There's a cube that comes from a circle. If you select a circle, low cube around it, that's five feet. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, alright. I don't know if you can uh, select it, but uh, okay. You can. Uh, bonus action. Mm -hmm. Smack. I the sword. I smack, yeah. Okay. Damn it. That misses. The rolls on, on, on that chick are just not working for me. <laughs> no, for any of us. So, I got so a it would seem. I got a solution for that. I'm casting Bless. Mm -hmm. at, uh, at level, um, let's see, how many people can I bless with? Four creatures at level two, so I cast bless at level. I cast bless at level two. Yeah. Then I'm going to bless myself, mm -hmm. Wilden, Bayou, and Valkia. Bless. Let me check. Which means that everyone gets a d4 on either all their saves or all their attack rolls. It's it's not really either. It's it's you get a d4 uh, plus d4 on your saves and attack rolls. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, sorry. So if you need to make a save, you get it. If you need to make an attack roll, you can always add d4 as long as I have concentration on this spell. Mm -hmm. Who did you use it on? I'm sorry. On basically everyone but your steel defender. Everyone but okay. the steel defender. Cool. Let me see if I can. So, you, so everyone can use uh, an extra d4 on their attack rolls, which is fun. Excellent. Oh wait, and I d4 have... on their saves, <laughs> which is also fun. I have a yellow one. Yeah, there you go. That's a good one. Cool. Oh. Lathander, I'm going to praise the shit out of, out of you. Yeah. Out of this alive. <laughs> I'm praise the shit out of out of you tonight, baby. Oh, so, uh, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, then it is her go. Um, she is going to do one attack against the Steel Defender and two attacks against uh, you, Wilden. Okay. So, the one against the Steel Defender is a 19. Oh, wait, with advantage. Oh, no, it's still a 19. Uh, so, 5 bludgeoning damage for him. Five. Okay. And then 2 against you. The first one of which being a 21 to hit. I cast shield. Okay, interesting. I cast nope. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, the second one of which being an 11, which doesn't hit... Um, you know, 
even if he didn't have nope. shield. Um, so she kind of looks at you. Uh, well, you can't see her eyes, so you don't know uh, what it. kind of. <laughs> yeah, you feel you feel that sneer in the back of your head. <laughs> okay, uh, hmm. that's all she's gonna do. Save for. Uh, you don't actually because she didn't actually hit you. No, for the still defender. Um. Or is it gone? Uh, no. uh, the stun is gone. It yeah, the stun wears off. Her, yeah. yeah. Excellent. So okay. then it will be your go. Alright, let's. 17 hit. Um, she is going to use her reaction to parry, adding 3 to her AC against one melee attack. Um, and she can then do a counter attack. Oh, shit. Oh, That's a 12 to hit. Don't know, that probably won't no, hit. No, that misses. Okay, so at least that doesn't hit, but you know. Damn, my first actual hit roll. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's You're, okay. You happen okay. to run into a strong person. It's okay. And then uh, Wilden is going to try and hit her with the longsword. It's <clears throat> right there. All right. Go for it. Yeah. Um, that doesn't hit. Yeah. That, that's my turn. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Oh, uh, did you add the bless, by the way? Oh, you, no. You are blessed. Your steel defender isn't, but you can still add a def Okay, a 50. Yeah, that still won't hit, unfortunately. Defen no, the steel defender's not. Steel defender's not blessed. He's not blessed. Yeah. yeah. I don't have enough to bless all of us. It's okay. <laughs> so all right. 15, does a 15 hit? Uh, no, a 15 does not hit. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, anything else? Uh, no. Standing your ground. Yeah. For the tiny people in the world. That's right. And We're not intimidated by blind mugs. Uh, at this point, uh, the door to the distillery opens. Oh, shit. Oh, no. And uh, one of the monks steps out. He's going to be just amazed about what the hell is happening here. And is uh, going to move through the cloud of, or, or into the cloud of daggers, so you can roll damage for that. But he is going to protect his mistress. Woman. Can you roll damage for that, please? Stop. Cloud of daggers. Oh, sorry. Stop uh, defending yeah. your women. <laughs> <laughs> Ten. Oof, that's pretty good. Teen. Alrighty, and then of course there were two in that room, so another one steps out. Um, and he is going to go also through the cloud of daggers and uh, engage in melee with phalanx. So you can roll damage again <laughs> for cloud of daggers. Oh, jeez. Nice. <laughs> Depending on how you did the leveling, because I am catching level 2, I don't even have um, it. Well, what's your max level spell slot? 2, but 2 doesn't change anything for it, so I don't know if it's well, you coded it. Well, you cast all spells at level 2, so nothing really changes. Uh, and let's see, that's going to be a attack against the Steel Defender, or uh, two attacks rather. Did he use his... Oh no, wait, he can't actually... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. unless it's somebody else. Exactly. So the first one is a 22. Definitely hits. That's a 3 bludgeoning damage. And the second one is a 15. That's his AC. Okay, so that also hits. Uh, and that is 8 bludgeoning damage. Okay. Oh, he's still up. <laughs> yeah. Oops. And then the one uh, that's standing next to Phalanx. Would you like to use your warding flare? Good, no, sir. Not this time. Okay, not this time. Uh, the first attack is going to be a 16 to hit. Misses. The second is an 11. So, that also misses. Yeah, 
nothing interesting happens. He just punches your shield and then, like, you know, your head, but it's too hard for him to get through. Uh, so that's their turn, bringing us to Valkia. This very okay. congested hallway in front of you. Yes. I have literally zero way how to get into there. So I will just continue in my attempt from the distance. Now let me see. Hmm. I will just measure something. Ah, damn it. No, not yet. Okay, uh, I will move here. Mm -hmm. I noticed this guy because I saw him running in the direction. Uh, which guy? Through here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this, you did. This one. Yeah. And I will try to poison spray him. Again, okay. I kind of take my hand around big and. Snap your fingers and a poison cloud appears. Uh, 17 to save. That saves. Okay, does does it take any damage? Nope. No, it's a cantrip. It's uh, a cantrip. That's right. That's why I'm throwing it around as much as I am. Okay, uh, uh, so that's all. Anything else um, you can do? Let's... Well, you know what? Hmm? I will... Fireball. <laughs> no. mm. Burn everything. Hmm. <laughs> that would be interesting in there. Mm -hmm. Um, no, I will... Hmm. No, actually I can't. Okay. Uh, I will do another healing word at Phalanx. Okay. Uh, roll for that. Nice. That's nice. Max, actually. Is it? Oh, it's a D4 plus. Yep. D4, oh, D4 yeah. plus three. Boom. Okay. Uh, and after that, I will. Look at you being a healthy boy. Oh. Whoops. Roll. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> if you uh, click, yeah, if you click uh, the letters. HP, then you can actually set your current HP as well, and your max. It so should be this right. Twenty-five out of thirty-five, I believe. Twenty-five? I thought it was twenty-seven. I'll just make it. 25. Oh, uh, I don't know whether that was like after the. And don't forget, you also have the temporary hit point still. Oh, yeah. From Balm uh, of the Summer Courts, so you can re add that. I yeah, if you click if you sorry, click the reset, it will also get rid of your temporary hit points, so. Okay. Yeah. Here All right. Go. Back up. Uh, so that's your turn, Falkir? Yep. Alrighty. Bye, you. Yes. Y'all uh, are blessed. Still stuck in the hallway. I want to get out of here. Yeah. How much is that I could do if I could just move? Um, would it Some be sort of grinding thing? assault. I'm sorry? Would it be more difficult now to do this thing because the guy's in the way? Can you just yes. like bunny hop over Wilden? Over Wilden, maybe, but then you would, yeah, be like face to face with this other guy. Oh, with the woman. I would be yeah. fine with that, actually. Um, oh, yeah, with the woman. Yeah. They have the same sprite, but. I'm gonna try to do that, yeah. I'm trying to see if I can get possible let, and, uh, here, so. let me actually give this person like a halo so you can see the difference. There you go. Where where are you gonna go? The big uh, over, oh god, over here. Yeah. So with um, acrobatics again. I'm gonna try. Okay, roll for acrobatics. Don't, don't forget your Come on. Yeah. yeah before, right? Don't forget. Uh, that doesn't count. <laughs> I think <laughs> another T. Also, that doesn't count for ability checks. It also counts for saving. Oh. Uh, only counts for saving oh, throws and attacks. Right, 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 right. I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
can wreck all of them if we can just get there. <laughs> so yeah, just, uh, just as you're trying to jump, Wilden just kind of uh, reaches up uh, to block an incoming <laughs> attack, and uh, oh, you still blame me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like a thing where like Wilden can ready a duck or something? <laughs> you should have you should have called out, uh, maybe. <laughs> But yeah, you're just you're just kind of you're just kind of uncertain when to go. You're just like, what if she's if she's bunny hopping me? Aren't I assisting her in a way? Maybe if you saw it coming. Okay. I'm a loud person now. I should have called that. Right. If you if you would have called it out, if I would have allowed that, but you didn't. I'm gonna jump over you now. I assume in real life that she would just be screaming the entire way through, but yeah, I can get the game through because I have skull that. You can still uh, try the sickle thing and also yeah, attack yeah. with your tentacle. But I need I need to get my ass over here, that's the whole thing. If I can just get there, I'll be fine. Into your uh, cloud of daggers, great idea. <laughs> I, can just, I can just drop my cloud of daggers, don't worry about it. Oh, <laughs> good point, yeah. Um, tentacle deck, it's a lady. That's a 10! Wow. <laughs> Okay. Big old five. ten. What kind of damage would you like it to be? Uh, lightning. Lightning. Alrighty. Um, and then I would just do sickle sickle then. again. Sickle boy. Sickle. Nope. Miss. Try it. Dodge. <laughs> Anything else? You're kind of uh, stuck there. No, I'm I'm still here. <laughs> just go in through, find some kind of back door, and just kind of go in through there, and then find your way oh, to I this have room. To go all the way <laughs> fucking down. What is this thing? I have to go all the way fucking down, and then mm -hmm. just like go around. Yes, you do. Okay. All the way <laughs> Phalanx, it's your turn. My buddy, my dude. Oh, um, I'm sorry, um, Bayou, you didn't add your, um, bless, bless for, sickle. yeah, for the sickle attack. Oh, uh, which is a d4, right? Yeah. That would make it a 17. Uh, 17. She will again use her reaction to parry that. What do you mean? <laughs> you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> Denied, that's what I mean. Can she hit me back oh, from that distance? I'm sorry? Can she hit me back from that distance? No, she can't. No. Ah! Fuck you! <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so Phalanx, you're up. These guys... I love what I should do. The plebs, uh, like the normal monks, they did already take quite a bit of damage from uh, the Cloud of Daggers. That's just like swirling around in the air. Yeah. They will start their turn again in the cloud. So, well, mm. and cast it so that the people who get burned are only the enemies. Is that possible? Uh, what are you gonna cast? I'm sorry, I missed a little. I think. Uh, burning hands, so mm. that pointing hands are getting burned. This guy is getting burned, this guy is getting burned, and this woman is getting burned. Let me give you the cone. So you're like facing that way. Yeah, and just a little little bit more to, to the left. Yeah, that yeah, you can fine. you can angle it like in in between. Or go yeah, like that. Like stand exactly right here. Yeah. You should only hit the bad You can guys. do that. All of the bad guys. I will um, hit all of the bad guys with birdie hands on level two. So, yeah, roll for damage, and I will roll some deck saves. Yes. Burning hand level two. Oof! Ouchie. What's your spell safety C? Uh, fourteen. Okay, so I rolled a nineteen on the guy that's directly in front of you, so he takes half, which is uh, seven. Um, He's badly, badly burned and bruised, but he's still standing. Uh, the other guy rolled an 8, so he takes the full 15, so he burns to a fucking crisp right in front of you. And then... Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. She rolls a 20 and will use her evasion to take no damage. Fucking monk. <laughs> <laughs> is, that a is that a reaction or is that a skill? Uh, it's a skill. If if this person is subjected to an effect that allows her to make a dexterity saving throw to only take half damage, she instead, she instead take no damage if she succeeds. I'm sorry, I took away. Uh... The 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 way how she avoided attack from Bayou. That was the same thing that she used for avoiding attack from. Uh... Uh, the uh, still defender. Uh, hang on. Uh, and it wasn't the reaction. Evasion is not a reaction. No, 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 no evasion. Talking about the parry. Uh, and the, the, the parry. The, the, like it when. when oh yeah, she she was didn't going. have she didn't have her turn uh, yet. So, yeah, so she wouldn't have gotten her reaction back. So that would have hit. Let me actually read back. That would have been two slashing damage. Yeah. With a 17 okay. to hit, so I will just calculate that. Thanks for okay. reminding. I, I was just reminded when when someone asked like if this is reaction, I was like, oh wait. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I uh, totally forgot about that. She didn't get her turn uh, yet to get her reaction back. I don't think. No. Yeah. Anything? Uh, anything else you'd like to do, Phalanx? Um, I use the sword to attack the dude who's almost dead. Okay, right in front of you, the guy? Yeah. Yeah, go for it. I'd rather not get hit by him, so... Understandable. Nice. That hits. Seven force damage. Uh, yeah. Uh, how do you want to kill this guy? Chop off his head. <laughs> Chop off his head, alright. Yeah, his head just goes... Um, flying into the wall right next to you. Onto the floor. Blood everywhere. Gruesome. Boom. Felix only right now with all the blood. <laughs> nice. Please do not resist. Okay. Um, the so-called futile <laughs> resistance is futile. Exterminate. <laughs> the so-called mistress is going to attack. Let me see. Um. Let me see. Uh, two, two against uh, Wilden, one against um, your steel defender, Wilden. Will he yep. use his deflect? Yes, he will. Okay, uh, so disadvantage on... Uh, is that for one attack? It just says attacks. Uh, let me see. On, on the attack roll of one creature, so I guess... Just one? I guess just one. He only has one reaction, so I'm assuming right. that, yeah, that would be for one attack. Okay. Uh, uh, the only exception to things like that is the shield spell, which just stays up until the end of your turn. And, yeah. you know, not not even this this woman's parry ability is counts for multiple attacks, so yeah, you do have that. Uh, with a disadvantage, that would be an 11 to hit you. For the first attack, uh, second attack will be a twenty. That hits. That's fourteen bludgeoning damage as she oh God. Uh, clocks you in the face, and then I need a. I will use my shield again. You'll use your shield again. All yeah. right. So yeah, that puts you it's up to twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Jeez, what's your standard armor class? Oh, 19. 19. Yeah. 19. Oh, it's a plus five, of High course. Nine. Uh, yeah, okay. And, yeah, that doesn't hit. Yeah, my last spell slot. Uh, but she did waste all of her attacks on you two, so that will be her turn. Bringing us back to you. Will okay, the... I will cast Mending. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Poor guy. He's been murdered so many times. <laughs> yeah, he has. Um, if he moves to the left a little bit, is he gonna get into the cloud of daggers, like right here? Um, 
Kinda does, yeah. A, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay, I see. I see the square now. So I, I can't really move. Just only to about there. Mm -hmm. Um, can Wilden squeeze by her to get uh, here? Hmm. Make an uh, make an acrobatics check to do that because she was just attacking you, so it might be a little difficult to just uh, swoop on by. Oh, I suck at acrobatics. What I got? Do I'm you? Actually good at <laughs> you don't. Do you though? I was in the circus. <laughs> You're in the circus. <laughs> Artificer circus. It's fine. Yeah. So yeah, I guess. I'm... Yeah, that's not a problem. Just squeeze right on by, and when you get yeah. the chance. All right. Um, and then he's gonna do force attack. Oh, nice. um, you are flanking with him now, so advantage if you want to. I'll uh, take the nine damage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'll allow that. <laughs> <laughs> nine force. Yeah, she finally did something. She's starting to show some. Uh, some bruises uh, on the side of her head, and you know, uh, her rib cage. Yeah. Anything else? That's, no, that's my full turn. That's your turn. All right, these guys are out of initiative, so that brings us back to Valkia. Okay. There I was thinking I would add extra challenge to this encounter by adding those two guys, but they did just run through the cloud uh, of daggers. <laughs> <laughs> the challenge is yes. there, though, so... They, they, they were a little bit challenged by mm -hmm. their own decisions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's her philosophy, you know. Get get in there. Get stuck in. Well, given that last time I tried to poison spray her, she didn't seem too, uh, too afflicted by it. Indeed. And given you know, that my... My damage-dealing distance stuff is mostly... Area, mm -hmm. area, which is bad plan mm, here. Yeah, not I in close will, quarters. Yeah, I will just hurl another flame at her. Okay, go for it. Uh, so let me see for this flame and. Uh, nope. Well, <laughs> it doesn't even matter. I'm not even going to add the bless because that's going to be too little. <laughs> yes, yes, it is. It's a maximum of twelve. So. This sucks. Anything else? Um, well, I am trying to think. <laughs> Didn't you have a short bow? I I mean I do, but I am worse with that. Than oh, you're not you're not plate. proficient. Yeah, yeah. No. And even if I was, I think I would still be worse than with the spell. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so yeah. Okay. I will just stay here. <laughs> okay, uh, by you. You can be a backup healer, though. That's also very useful. Yeah. Second. Um. Right. So Wolven kind of my area of effect here. So this is fine. Um. <laughs> I, tried to, I tried to help any way I could. I don't know. I know it's fine. <laughs> but I was trying to do something, but you get hurt in the process, so I try it now. So you're not gonna do that. I was gonna close in on the, this lady. Mm-hmm. And Levity. I will do a little stabby stab with my, I think, scimitar. Let me check that actually. My scimitar. Mm -hmm. And I will cast Booming Blade on my scimitar as I stab her. Is that like um, a bonus action to cast it? As a cantrip at will. As an action. It's an and action to cast it. It is part of my melee. Oh, it's a part it's of your part melee of attack? Action. Yeah. Yeah. No, okay. no, well, the melee attack is part of the spell. And uh, yeah, and then if she moves, she takes damage. So uh, yeah. the way I programmed that, uh, you can either click the button now and it will roll the damage for when she moves, or you can roll damage when she moves. It's, it's oh, your choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, I think that's all it does, and she just gets bright yellow with thunder and shit. Uh, she did in a booming energy. Okay, I will change uh, her halo to uh, yellow then. To remind okay. us. And as far as the scimitar goes, 16 hits. Uh, okay. She will use her reaction because she did get it back this time. Mm -hmm. She you got it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, you are blessed. Do roll. Does that. matter right now? 
It does. Three. Nineteen. Uh, let me think. Nineteen. Thank you for uh, She can mm -hmm. add a uh, maximum of three to her armor class of sixteen, so that would be nineteen. So you hit her. Ooh. Boom. Uh, nice. Six slashing. Yeah, that's working. Try to hit me, bitch. Bless. And my, uh... <laughs> wow. And then my tentacle. Oh boy. Here we go. We're just do a little nothing. And that doesn't hit. <laughs> <laughs> it's been rolling pretty well so far, so. Do a little nothing. Alright. Is that all you do on your turn? Uh, well, it's like I moved, I stabbed her, and I did identical things. So it was pretty significant, again. so. Yeah. Um, after the spider way, I think my tentacle fades because I think they sail for six rounds. Six rounds? Well, how long oh, does wait, it last? An hour, not per minute. Sorry, An hour? Jeez. Let me see. Actually, let me check that because I, I, I thought it was a minute. That's what I'm the fifth part. If it was a minute, then it would be. Ten rounds. Ten rounds. Yeah. Oh, that's for one minute. Yeah. So yeah, so ten rounds. Oh, no, ten rounds, not six. Oh, you're ten completely rounds. right. Sorry, I got them confused. It's yeah. Still, it's still there. Yeah. Don't worry. Four more rounds. All right. Phalanx. All right. My dude. <laughs> it's time to smack. <laughs> All right. Smacker. I cast Guiding Bolt. Ooh. <laughs> if that hits... Oh, please. Oh. Nope. It goes oh, wide. No. It hits the ceiling. Uh, sword, then. That will hit. <laughs> nice. Nice. Whoa. Alrighty. That's like max, isn't it? Is it? Uh, no. No, it isn't. No? Uh, it's a D. It's a D8 so it plus max. your yeah. spell modifier, which is four, so it is max. It seems to be oh, D8 plus spell mod, so that's the, yeah, that's yeah. max. Nice. All right. She can hurt. Anything else you can do? Take a stroll. Um. <laughs> Maybe have a drink. Mm, move a little bit here. Mm, gotcha. That's it for your turn? That's it for my turn. Alright. Um... Oh boy. She will use the action to disengage from all of you. She does have to go around you, will and use her 50 feet of movement. She does uh, take damage from Booming Blade. So, Clara Daggers. A slashing damage. And Booming Blade. Two thunder damage. Oh. Ten damage. Damn. She's still up. <laughs> fuck. Uh, okay, fine, do fuck. I mean. uh, I let, hang on. Let me revert my last move to see how far I can actually move though because so around into the counter daggers around to Wilden then here and then she vanishes out of sight Crap. fuck how far was that damn it <laughs> rewind rewind <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty far. All right. And Booming Blade wears off after that, yes? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, that's her turn. Wilden, you're up. Okay. Let's see. Will our dungeon master finally be able to is make a bad guy, bad guy run away? Yeah, it is open. She didn't. Um, I, I should have probably locked it, <laughs> but you know it's open. I didn't think about that. Oh, because I can't see through it. Oh yeah, I will open it for you. <laughs> Thank you. That might help. 
There you go. Okay, I use 16, I have... 25. Yeah, so I have about here. You see her, uh... Um, fiddling with the window. Yeah. Crossbow. Okay. Go for it. God. Misses. Still misses. <laughs> sort of a... <laughs> Slight frustration. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think I have enough movement with this guy. Uh, get to there. Come on. Mouse is lagging up. Oh yeah, big time. <laughs> Can get to about there. Alrighty. Is that enough? Is that within reach? It's not within range, no. Okay. Then that would be my turn. Alrighty. Uh, Volkia. Also, a question. As mm -hmm. she was leaving... Oh, she disengaged, right? Yes, she disengaged. Okay, okay. Otherwise, she would have dashed the fuck out, but yeah. uh, she wasn't yeah, going to risk yeah, yeah. all those opportunities. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Can't believe I missed her. Shit. <clears throat> what you gonna do? That's what I'm trying to figure out. It is pretty difficult at this point, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's see where I can get. Um, oh, the door is here, right? Uh, yeah, it's opened right now. Ah, uh, in that case. Mm. Yeah, you don't really have the right angle to shoot through the door. Yeah, I didn't realize, like, into which side the door opens. Mm hmm. Okay. I will I will wall shape into okay. a Okay. Okay. Uh you about you. Alright. I'm just gonna search for a panther token. And in the meantime, uh, I shall move my now 50 feet of movement. Yeah, just hold on until you move. <laughs> until oh. I, uh, I, yeah, I don't want it freezing up, yeah. freezing up or anything. So. Yeah. Okay. Don't know if that will happen. <laughs> yeah, I get it. So uh, yeah, I have this this token library that has like a bunch, like a shitload of random tokens in it, um, and it has to search through all of them to find a panther. <laughs> oh, I just noticed a great thing. <laughs> oh, no, did you now? <laughs> no, she's blind. God damn it. <laughs> It would have been so great, <laughs> but I can't make eye contact with her. Nope. <laughs> oh my god, it's so unlucky. She has a, a mask on. Yes, I mean, if she would have, you know, like, if she would see... There you go, you're a panther be... now. <laughs> Whoa! Meow. Okay, let me get the fuck in. Yeah, to right about there. Yeah. You just suddenly, well then you just suddenly see, like, also all of you, like, from the room where all was, like, this, this panther, <laughs> this panther dashing out. Through. Yeah. Nice. Um, so yeah. That's, that's it. Um, yeah, that's it for me. Alrighty. I'm a kitty now. Excellent. Hi. Bye you. Um, 
I'm gonna just see what my movement and my tentacles are. I think probably not much. Is this 15 feet? Oh, nah. How far can it move in total? 30. Alright, yeah, you, you'll you never make that. <laughs> I can't even try it, I can't get into the thing. Wait, let me yeah, just it's just because if you put yourself in the room and then do it, yeah. Yeah. So 15 makes it like. Uh, and I can't walk through the door. I mean, it is a spectral yes. tentacle, and you can just go through the wall, but I do mm. still think you can't make it all the um, way to her. Is that 10 feet? That's 10 feet! Is I it? can hit her. I can move her over her token so you can see. But yeah. Yeah, feet. it is. Right. Ah! Fuck you. <laughs> oh, yes. So uh, the, reach, the reach is gonna save you here. Or not. Uh, Roll for it. Uh, wait, no, I'm a d4. <laughs> No wait, the tentacle nope. isn't blessed. The tentacle isn't blessed. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't think I can. Uh, and... Can it, yeah, that doesn't hit. Means 30. I'm gonna yeet my dagger at it. Okay, <laughs> go for it. Uh, don't forget your bless. Oh, uh, never mind. <laughs> yep, miss. I'm not gonna save that fucking left hand there. Um, ladies, lucky. I yeah. Do. I'm in the fucking doorway. It's also not good. I'm sorry, Phalanx. Will Phalanx save the party? Let's find out. I'm in the doorway. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Super friends. All right. Okay. Here we go. I want to go inside. Bop. Oh, you're under a few other people. Let me just. There you are. For me. Can you move yourself? Hang on. Let me just put you over there. <laughs> hey. I cast once again, guiding bolt. Okay. That you can do. Oh. Come on. Work with me here. Yeah. Fucking MVP! Ooh, yeah, I can't fucking bury that either. Yeah. It's a range yes. attack, you can't do that. Um, you see a bright yellow flash uh, streaking through the room towards this woman and hits her right in the back of the head. Um, as it bursts into radiant light, you can see her just cracking her head on the windowsill. As she um, falls down, dead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> What's your alignment again? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Hey, Lathander, Lathander, bless you. Soul in, yeah. And throw it into yeah. the flames of hell. Yeah. Well, I'm doing it. Go ahead. Let me just remove all of the daggers and summonables and stuff. I'm losing everything, by the way. It took dead guys in the hallway. I'll leave okay, let me calculate XP for you. 550 per person. Take 3D for now. Uh, yeah, there's four dead bodies. Did you hear me, you guys? Yeah, 550 yeah. XP. Yeah, 550 per person. <clears throat> and uh, loot will... the bodies. Wait, how much? Oh, four four at a one. Whoa, one, yeah. one at a time. <laughs> what did you say before this? How much? How much what per person? Uh, 550. It should be in chat. I want to go loot the four plebs in the hallway in the fighting okay. room. Uh, apart from desk. apart from their standard gear, uh, they don't have uh, anything of value. You don't know whether the masks might be valuable. I mean, they do look golden, but you know, you don't know whether that's um. Valuable. As for uh, they don't have anything valuable on them. Okay. All right, I'm I'm looting the mistress. Okay. Uh, uh, let me. The clearing, by the way, sorry, I'm interrupting you. Um, uh, what? But the clothing of the four dead dudes, what did they look like? Uh, d just drab brown, browns and beiges. That's I will it. just slice up part of the clothing. You steal the clothing? Part of, I will slice off a part of it. Slice off, okay. Interesting. Get the masks, get the masks. 
Oh uh, yeah, the mask, obviously. <laughs> okay, no problem. Uh, so you have a slice of monk's clothing, and uh, if you want, four masks. I don't know how many you want to gather. Getting all four of them, yeah. Okay, good. Uh, the desk, uh, there's nothing in the desk itself, however you do see um, a little chest sitting um, just on a small shelf um, below the actual surface of the desk. Mm-hmm. Um, although it is currently locked. I see what though? I didn't hear you. Uh, oh, uh, you see a chest that is, uh, so there's the, the writing yep. surface of the desk and then there's a little shelf below that on which stands a wooden chest, uh, which is locked. I will investigate that for traps. All right, go ahead and roll investigation. As for a phalanx... Um, you do not see any traps, first of all. As mm -hmm. for Phalanx, you find on this woman, um, little of value. Uh, the only thing she, uh, has with her is around her neck, around a leather, uh, on a leather cord, she is wearing a key. I grab yeah. it. Okay. I also take oh, her like different mask. Okay. So you now have an eyeless mask. You now see uh, on the ground uh, a woman, um, eyes closed, with um, you know short black hair. That's it. Human. No other uh, distincting features. Um, if you just kind of you know put your thumb over her eyelid and. Uh, open her eye, you can see that she has the very distinctive um, pupils of a blind person. I thought so. It's like fighting tough from Avatar The Last Airbender. Felix, is that, is that a key you're holding in your hand? Yes, I found it around her neck. Try, try it in this here keyhole. Okay, it I, fits. Before I do that, I try to yeah. observe the chest, see if I notice anything. I'm guessing Bless wears off uh, right about now. Um, Bless works for... Yeah, it's it's done. It's about okay. one minute. Uh, so Valkia disconnected and reconnected. And there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I observe the chest, see if I notice anything odd. Okay. Uh, make an investigation check. Investigation. Before I do that, I praise the hell out of Lathander. I mean, <laughs> okay. the heavens out of Lathander. Guidance. Just pat yourself in the back a little. 20, 20 it is. Nice. Nothing seems off about this chest. I open the chest with the key I just got. The chest opens, and inside is the following um, 800 silver pieces. What? Ooh. Who's writing this down? I am. I am. <laughs> Why are you writing this down? It's my mug. Uh, who's looting it? <laughs> I am looting it. Let me write just it down. Just it down just so we it's both, we both are, really. Okay, yeah, you can, you can note it down, uh, but, you know, Phalanx, either Phalanx or Wilden, you're actually looting this. So, yeah, eight, yeah, no, I so 800 silver pieces, 65 platinum pieces. Sixty-five platinum, uh, and um, what seem to be twelve turquoise-looking stones. Um, twelve turquoise stones. Wilden, Wilden, uh, you, um, you reckon these are probably worth something? Um, somewhere in the realm of uh, around about ten gold pieces each. Uh, there's also uh, a pearl in this Ooh. chest. The elusive pearl. Ooh. What kind of stones did you say there were in there? Blue stones? Turquoise. Uh, turquoise. Turquoise. Can I, from like where I'm standing, kind of see if I recognize something or anything? 
I, 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 know it's there. I uh, wrote down the turquoise stones in my other mm -hmm. possessions. Yeah. Uh, you can and make a, a pearl. You can make an intelligence check. Yeah, and there's a pearl, uh, an intelligence right. check uh, by you to see what it is. Plus four, plus D four. Sorry. Uh no. Okay. Sixteen. Um. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you do. Uh, you've probably seen these before in your travels as a, a sailor or a pirate, um, mm. being. You know, traded with other people. Yeah, turquoise. You cut out. <laughs> you cut out. Oh, uh, yeah. You recognize them as um, you know they are called turquoise. Okay. It's a type of uh, gem or mineral. Shall we? Shall we do this up, uh, Felix? Hmm. Shall we divvy divvy this up? Yep. You know. So it'd be me... 200. Sorry. Yeah, I just wrote it down. Let me. Um, I already calculated goal. the division. Mm hmm. It would be 200 silver pieces per person. Mm hmm. 16 platinum for each person, but Phalanx, you get 17. Mm hmm. Three turquoise stones per person. And I could really use that pearl. Mm. Okay, I give it to you. <laughs> okay. Fine. <laughs> I, I I can't cast identify when I have one, so. All the magic shit. Yeah. Wait, sixteen? What did you just say? Sixteen platinum pieces. Mm -hmm. This phalanx gets seventeen because he got the killing blow. Definitely. All right. <laughs> I have so many uh, custom items right now. You got the same uh, treatment from uh, Thurl Roska with the ring. Last session. So, mm -hmm. as yeah. they are yeah. doing all that, you get Kitty, that coin Kitty as well. Kitty um, mm -hmm. would like to, first of all, if anyone is there. Uh, there is no one there. You see three doors from where you're standing in the corner. That's a window you're pointing at. Is this a window? Yes, yes, it is a window. Would you like to look through it? Yeah. <laughs> you do see three doors from where you're uh, standing. So right below you yeah. is a door. And then right over here is a door. And then at the end of the hall is a door. Yeah. It, it matches up with what I've seen from outside. Okay, so let me remove this for you. Okay. Just wiggle your token around a little. You should be able to see. Don't wiggle it. <laughs> okay, what is the thingy that I see? Uh, they are... That's a gargoyle statue. Okay. Similar to the one... Uh, outside. One of two the you've garden. seen in the garden. Yeah. <clears throat> right! Okay, after that, I would like to uh, go here. Yeah. Oh, well, while, while I'm downstairs, I would like to hear if I hear anything, and then I would kind of just like, you know, prance around and like listen to doors and stuff. All right. Uh, can, yeah. I'm sorry, can I, while, she, while that's happening, can I be casting Mending on Big Rattlehead to these? topped up of course you can yeah you can just reset his hp then and uh you can uh make some perception checks um well just make one general perception check uh, here. all right i'm a smart kitty yeah um from the door directly below you you can hear what seems to be uh shuffling shuffling of books and the the writing of uh, feather pencils on parchment paper. Okay. So that um, that room. Three stars. Uh, you. Uh, it's only one door. So that's the one over there. Yeah, it's exactly. Um, you don't hear anything. Of that. 
So yeah. Any other doors that you wanted to check? Um, uh, like yeah, in while I'm here, also probably this. So basically, things that would be in here, here, and yeah. here. Yeah, from the door at the end of that hallway, um, so like to the west, uh, the door, that room, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, from there, you can hear very quiet uh, conversing between two people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I should remind you. I did. Um, uh, I did remove the bodies, but uh, they are actually the still there. <laughs> yes, but oh. they are still there. Uh, but it does seem that they are there. Um, I will go peek in, and oh, once you... again, yeah. in Wilden's head, sounds the voice of Valkia saying. Uh, there are definitely some more people in what seems to be a library or of some sort uh, in the yeah. south and in the entrance hall um, in the, uh, what is it, southwest? Mm -hmm. I tell uh, those in the room that and I, and I tell them um, perhaps we should hide the bodies in case uh, people come sniffing around a very this good area. Idea. Yes. Oh, right. You can join them in the yeah, cool. And the window um, DM that she was trying to escape through, mm -hmm. what's on the other side of that window? Is, is that um, so uh, this this window is currently closed, um, mm -hmm. but um, just looking around it uh, for a little bit, you notice that there's a latch uh, below the windowsill. And um, just pulling the latch uh, instantly opens like the shutters that are on the windows. And if you take a bit of time, uh, for those nimble enough, you could probably squeeze through, and it does uh, open up into the garden. It's uh, cool. a bit of a drop, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a bit of a drop, but window. I'm sorry. I reclosed the window. Okay. The latch yeah, no problem. Um, it's a bit of a drop, but not. You know, not high enough that it might, you know, hurt someone. But uh, where are you hiding the bodies? I would say we hide them in this room. Uh, maybe a lot of people don't come in here. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. I I, I, I grab one of the corpses with <laughs> with your teeth. <laughs> I grab her body and put it in her bed. Uh, Vic Rattlehead does anyway, and covers her up. Mm -hmm. Because she's asleep. All right. And uh, the rest of the bodies that were. I mean, we will probably pull them all into the. Room. All into the room. All right. So for the sake of brevity, we'll just say that you do that. Um, nothing else really happens while you're doing this. It's just very eerily quiet in this um, this large monastery. Mm. And you sort of uh, adjourn back into this room, debating what you're going to do next. And that's where we will pick up next time. Cool. Cool. Mm. That was you're interesting. Alive. Yes, you're still alive, yeah. even though you had some very bad monk attacks yeah. coming your way. Happening. Look at us, cheating death again. Ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd call that a win. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> um, we yeah. are all almost on full. We are doing yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, you you are doing great. Level four. We already are. <laughs> Level five. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> all right. Uh, so Twitch, we'll see you all uh, next time. If you want to drop, Discord. yeah, if you want to drop by Discord. Uh, see you know just just leave uh leave a comment there what you think about this new format and any suggestions or ideas you might have and uh, yeah <laughs> we'll see you all on the 20th of may if i'm not mistaken which will be <laughs> two weeks from now on wednesday we'll see you next time till next bye -bye. time bye bye Hello.